Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Monster Hunter World Iceborne livestream. Did any of you guys know that today we get the Horizon Zero Dawn crossover? Because I found out about 15 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Fans Perspective, by the way, for telling me that this was up and running, because otherwise I would have just kept working and not even noticed. So, man, I gotta hire you as an assistant or something. <laughs> So, I did check. It is, in fact, live. Let's go ahead and take a look. Not join quest. Hold on. We're going to choose post quest. We're going to go to master rank. We're going to go to events. And into the frozen wilds. Daughter of an outcast. So, for those of you who are on the PlayStation, this is a crossover with the Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, I guess, game, whatever. <laughs> Uh, what would you call that brand? Uh, yeah, this is a crossover and I'm assuming there's going to be a skin uh, There's going to be a light bow gun. I'm very interested in trying that out as you guys know I'm a big fan of the bow guns So I'm very interested to know what the rewards for this actually will be and we're probably going to get this started right away But of course we want to wait until four people join see if we can get four people in here We have just me. Oh, no, here's the session ID by the way if you want to join Right so you can rewind this in the stream storms here. How's it going storm? Look at him, he's master rank 680. Jesus Christ. Let's go ahead and change our loadout. We're gonna grab our longsword build. Here it is. Are you very excited? I'm very excited. Gamer time, that's right, Fizzy. It is gamer time. We got crit eye, wide range, health boost, weakness exploit, and crit boost one. I wish we had crit boost two. Can we not fit crit boost two in here? We got a crit boost decoration. Maybe I didn't notice that in the past. Challenger vitality, fewer vitality, let's drop drop this and we had a crit decoration where is it yeah I bet I didn't even know I picked it up skills let's go over to crit boost we'll wait for people to join in if you're excited hit that like button are you excited to see the new content hopefully it's nothing too good you know why because <laughs> if it is the players on the PC and the players on the Xbox are gonna be salty <laughs> that's what you get for not owning three copies of the game <laughs> Imagine if it's like the best light bow gun. Oh man. Alright, so that's an improvement to the build. Why don't we save that too? Change equipment. I will override the old loadout. So we got crit boost 2 now. Wiggler Dur for world what? So guys, we did it. We reached a quarter of a million subs. What? What are you talking about? FMJ unloaded said, hello, how's it going man? Chris one says, hi TGC. How many people we got? Storm and Big Boss? I say we queue it up now. Let's get it started. Let's load it up. I'm sure this could not be difficult. What do you think? Will it be difficult? Hello from Trinidad. How's it going, Steven? Savage Devil Joke says, Can't wait to see what new monster is going to be added to the game on Sunday. Me neither. I'm very excited for that. I can't wait. Hopefully a really big, tough monster. Because we desperately need that. We need it. You know, we can keep growing blue mushrooms. Who cares? We'll wait for those mushrooms to run out. How's it going, fan? I was just mentioning how awesome you are because I would have kept working all night and not have noticed that this was live. The Zenogre got way more health, by the way, says fan. Oh, okay. That's going to be annoying. We have Dravik. He's here. <laughs> all right. PC should be thankful they even have Monster Hunter World on PC. Wow, man. So spiteful and mean. All right. Everyone's here. Sweet. Let's see their builds, too. How about that? You want to see their builds? Dravik is running. Ruinous Obliteration setup. Crit Eye, Crit Boost, Agitator 3, Pig Performance. Nice. So lots of damage there. Curse has Ruinous Atrocity. Wow, Nurky Weapons, huh? Agitator. Tool Specialist. Secret. One of the best skills in the game. Secretly. And you don't know it. Storm is running. Icicle. Blizzard. Ice attack. Slinger capacity. So he's got a silver loss setup. Makes sense. That is a great builds, man. Better than the Extreme Behemoth builds we were seeing earlier, huh? <laughs> we were running Extreme Behemoth before and we were struggling, man. Yeah, we had a few losses, actually. Spoiler, gun sucks. Safari Dave, shut up! <laughs> you spoiled it. <laughs> Tell me it's awesome. Be like, spoiler alert, the gun's awesome. 
Oh no, don't tell me that. We're still gonna mess around with it. Oh man, I shouldn't have read that out loud. Should have kept that secret. I, I just looked and I immediately read. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert, we don't know anything about the gun. It's a secret. Let's get some steamworks done. This is really important, guys. So, it's a new week. That means you can go get your... Uh, what do they call that? Celestial print from the steamworks. So you better go get your celestial print while you can, guys. Don't waste it. You get one each week. Alright, they ready? Yeah, they're ready. Alright, let's go. What if instead of actually doing the Horizon Zero Dawn event, I only played Steamworks for the whole hour, whole two hours? Big Yikes says, is it mean when every time a PC player says something is usually attacking console players? That's actually true. Yeah, PC players are very elitist. Uh, I actually agree with that entirely. I've heard a lot of that. Savage Devil Joe said, oh, I already read that one. There will be another Zero Dawn event later to upgrade the gun. Oh, so if it's bad now, potential to be better later. Oh, so we will figure out the archetype of the gun at least, and then we'll speculate how strong it'll be after one upgrade. Because usually, usually the gun doesn't, the archetype of the gun doesn't change. All that changes is it gets more damage. Isn't that right? I don't think usually you get more ammo or anything. Let's get this hot drink going. All right, we're good on the hot drink. Let's see if we can teleport over to this guy. Yes, we can. Oh, oh, that's what I get. That's my fault. That's okay. We can still teleport up there. The gun is a low-key very good. Okay, interesting. Let's get moving. can't believe I was late on this, too, you know? I should have been streaming 15 minutes before I landed. I gotta have, like... I gotta be stricter with myself on that kind of stuff, because... Silly of me not to be playing it the moment it comes out, right? Armageddon says, when event? Question mark? The event's now! The event's now! You gotta log in quick! Zenogre in the ice? Really? That's cool. Let's grab this Zenogre footprint. Running, running. We will be the judge of the gun ourselves. Oh, here he is. Big stinky, huh? Oh, wow. He roared fast. Wow, dude! Chill out! That was really bad, wasn't it? He's gonna roar. Wow, what am I, a scrub? Alright, our teammates are here. Storm's here. That's all I was waiting for, Storm. I was waiting for you. Be enough? Won't it? It won't. Oh, god damn, dude. The roars. I'm so tired of roars. Always roaring. Yeah, we're not going to reach him. There we go. Why doesn't the longsword have godlike reach anymore? I, th I thought he was going to roar there, and he didn't that time. Stop calling all the bugs over! He's calling all the bugs over, guys. Nah, he's calling over more bugs. I thought he was going to roar again. Shows you, I, he's, he's another monster that I have not actually fought as much as I think I have. Because I'm still figuring out his body movements. His animations, his tails. Don't be this way. Don't be this way, Zenogre. Alright. He's all mad now. I'm just going to run away. Whew. It's tricky running away from those. They actually land a lot. I'm gonna be KO'd pretty quickly, aren't I?
That hurts. There it is. <laughs> How's it going, Emma Clark? Need your boy to be live countdown for every event? That's right. I need I need you to be the live countdown fan. I'll give you the live countdown rule. I was working too. I was working on a uh, list of changes I'd like to see made to Iceborne. Don't do it, Zenogar. Ouch, dude. Oh, I tried to roll it. I notice you kind of get a good hint because the camera zooms out, you know what I mean? Oh my god. <laughs> Storm's alive. He's in our uh, he's in our little heel there. Get tired of ogre. Nice, we got it. Oh, I'm so lucky we got that. that roar. All right. All right. Where are you going, Zenogre? Let's grab this Zenogre material real fast. He probably can be thrown into a wall now. Why do longsword users attack the head? Because often the head actually takes really good damage. It's not just the tail. Yeah, the head is often a weak spot on a lot of monsters. Yeah, I, I used to ask the same question, but you get good damage on the head. It's the truth. Maybe Capcom should change that. Speaking of which, I want to do a, a review of the his own values for the monsters now that Palka Party has been updated. See, so look at the damage we get on the tail. Ooh, pitiful, 50 ones. If we went for the head, we would get more damage guaranteed. You can also thank the uh, Clutch Claw for that because... All of the blunt players are using their clutch claw mechanics on the head, so just by default, we're going to be getting better hit zones there, thanks to the fact that the blunt weapons get really good, well, particularly the hammer, gets really good clutch claw attacks. It's part of the Brutal Big Bang. Okay, that's not a roar. He's just calling in more bugs. Alright, so let's see. The head. Ah, 103 is on the head. Yeah, that's why the longsword players go for the head. Makes sense? 51's on the tails. I was hoping he would attack me from behind. That would have been so cool. 51's on the tail, 100's on the head. It's like 103's or whatever we said, right? Oh my god, that was way too early. So, I hope that uh, makes more sense of things. I used to think it was just because longsword players were, like, bad or something, but no, it just makes more sense for them to attack the his own that takes the most damage. Woo! Nice job. How's it going, Tabris? Tabris? Well, all right, here we go. Oh, I was tremored. Oh, I think the ice tremored me. I think this ice has that special tremoring me mechanic. Wow, none of that landed. Amazing. <laughs> That sucks, too. <laughs> He's in the ice. Awesome. Ah, uh, he would be running away anyways. Boop! 
That's my Zenogre Be Gone move. Be Gone, thought. <laughs> Uh, what was that? That wasn't even counted as an attack? That was weird. It looks like an attack. I got no no proc on the... Um... There it goes. Nice job, everyone. Shink! <laughs> well, that felt like that came out faster than the last time. Wait a second. How fast did that come out? No, it, came, it comes out the same. I'm, I'm going crazy, that's all. Should I still be expecting a Pokemon stream tonight? Yes, we will be doing another Pokemon stream for sure. Emma Clark says, smash my like button. Oh, right. Yeah. So one of the things I'm doing differently, guys, is I'm actually asking you to hit the like button these days. I think that it actually does improve the stream performance. I think YouTube ends up deciding to advertise the stream. So if you want to help me, if you appreciate the stream, the content, hit the like button, please. Curse's drinks are on me. Right now in the Discord, we have a channel where you can share the best shoutout in the game and then judge it too. You can vote on it. We're going to we're going to find out what the best shoutouts are. It came out faster if you have Quick Sheath. Do I? I don't remember. Did you hear about what's going to happen to YouTube says Snap? I just got a message on Discord from somebody who's like, you got to see this. And that's something to do with Kappa, but I didn't click on it because I was going live. So we got the Banuk Warrior Symbol. This is the reward you need in order to craft the Light Bogon, I presume. Nice. So it's a long fight against Zenogre. He's a great fight. He's a cool monster. Imagine if this game had a Bloodborne crossover. Yeah, that'd be cool. Imagine... Let's say you get like a special switch axe for it. That'd be neat. <laughs> My like button's feeling unloved. <laughs> that may be funny. I've got my monster energy. By the way, I got a message from the monster energy, whatever they are, corporation or something. So earlier I submitted a request to do like a maybe like a promotional thing for them. And then they responded and they didn't say no. What they told me to do is to submit a resume to another link. They gave me a new link. No, they gave me a like a email address and they're like, please submit a resume here. So I was like, hmm, I don't even know what that means, resume. Never done a, oh snap, I didn't even look at that. We just got something nice in the, we just got something nice in the daily bonus. And I didn't even see it. it. Looked like a whole bunch of stuff. I saw a decoration in there. It must have been... I heard them mention something earlier. There was going to be a nice giveaway in the daily bonus. So get your daily bonuses, everyone. Here, let's talk to this guy. Let's go see what the weapon is. Yeah, Monster Energy. How funny would it be if I was... If I was uh, sponsored by Monster Hunter... No, I'm sorry. Monster Energy. And I played Monster Hunter. It's like the perfect... It's like the perfect collab or whatever. Let's go choose upgrade weapon. No, 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 no. Forge equipment. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. Not the heavy bow gun. The light bow gun. Clicking buttons willy-nilly over here. Alright, it'll be at the end of the list, right? Here it is. Stormslinger. We need three of the Banuk symbols. So we have to go fight right away again. But let's take a look at it. Rarity 9. So that means when you upgrade it, it's Rarity 10, I'm guessing. And that means you could do a couple augmentations on it. Attack value of 390. How do I put that in perspective? What's the raging... Oh, we can't see it yet. Hmm. Maybe the Shara Ishvalda then. 377? Ooh. So the Shara Ishvalda is 377. The starting point is 390 for that light bow gun. What else? Oh, we can't see Nergigante either yet. How about Garuga? Garuga's 351. So I gotta say, right off the bat, the attack value for the Storm Slinger prototype looks good. 390. It's got a giant decoration slot. That's good too. Very high deviation is also a good sign. You wouldn't think it is, but it is, because usually they justify giving a weapon like a lot of damage, a bowgun, by saying, oh, but it has high deviation. But, you know, nobody cares about deviation. So, it only has level 1 normal. as level 2 piercing. That's interesting. It's got level 1 spread, level 2 sticky, paralysis ammo, and it's got 7 shots of thunder. 
So I'm guessing this is a Thunderlight Bowgun. And let's take a look at the actual. So it's a Rapid Fire Normal 1. That's interesting. It's an Auto Fire Pierce Ammo Bowgun. Huh. Auto Fire Pierce 2. That is actually interesting. Paralysis 2 and Paralysis 1 is fine. You're probably going to get two procs of Paralysis off with this Bowgun. Okay, so what's standing out to me is it's very high base attack of 390 is a, a very good sign. And then the seven shots of Thunder Ammo. A lot of people think that it means the Thunder Ammo won't be able to compete with like Rapid Fire Thunder Ammo. However, since it has seven shots rather than three shots, you reload half as often. So secretly, when you see elemental ammo of that type, what it, it was kind of going on is it's not quite doing the same damage. It's doing slightly less, but you also run out of reserves faster, but you do, you are able to kind of make up for that, compensate for it a little bit because you don't reload as often, right? So three shots versus seven shots. It's kind of a big difference, right? So this is clearly very likely going to be a Thunder bow gun. It makes sense too, right? For the, in terms of the game. Let's go ahead and get another run so we can go craft it. We'll work on a, uh, We'll work on a prototype build. How about that? <laughs> All right, we'll get the quest going a second time. The Frozen Wilds. This might be a short live stream. Uh, you know, I don't really know if there's much else to it. This this seems to be all there is to it. So once we have it built, well, well, no, we'll be able to fill up an hour and a half at least. Once we have this second run done, we'll build it, and then we'll put a build together, and then we'll test the build out. So we'll be doing a lot of things. I think the Sticks Light Bowgun is currently the best Thunder Ammo Bowgun in the game, and this one will be competing to take that out. Single Shot Elemental can actually compare with Rapid Fire. Yeah, exactly. Was somebody else saying it can't? Was somebody saying they can't? Fan says, so that's good. Hyped for the next new monster. Me too. 24th, the news comes. Maybe it will get Rapid Normal 2 at Rarity 10. I don't think the Bowguns do that, do they? Like, once you see the ammo, they don't really change. I'm pretty sure they don't change. There's kind of... Usually what you see is the damage goes up and the ammo stays the same. I could be wrong about that. Correct me on that if I'm wrong. Let's go for honey. Actually, why don't we go for... I'm trying to remember. Flashbug. Thunderbug. Let's go for Thunderbug real fast. Make sure we have plenty of Thunder ammo here. We'll fertilize this with thick summoner jelly. All right, so we get plenty of thunderbugs. I have never played this game before, but it's interesting watching you make your build. Thanks, Heplife. Yeah, so Monster Hunter is a, it's a very fun game precisely because it's a very complicated game. It's actually one of the reasons why I like Pokemon. Pokemon's a complicated game too, in its own way. There's actually quite a lot to know about that game. It's a very knowledge-dense game, Pokemon is. Uh, however, the story mode is clearly for kids, and many aspects of the new game has... They, they haven't really changed much or innovated. Really, all they've done is taken Pokemon away, which upset a lot of people. I, I, they shouldn't have done that. After, after playing it for a while and thinking about it for a while, I think that they're going to have a hard time justifying not having all the Pokemon in the game. Yeah, so I've, I've had time to think about all that. But yeah, so Monster Hunter is a dense, dense, dense game. I liked Dark Souls because it was a dense game. Every weapon had unique properties in Dark Souls that you kind of had to figure out and take advantage of. And it was an RPG, yeah, RPG style game that had a lot of rich, like, amounts of knowledge to it. And, and Monster Hunters along those lines. So, love games like this. It's no wonder that my, my channel, I've been able to make so many videos for it, you know what I mean? So, so much to talk about. All right, we'll jump up here again. Oh, I should have... God damn it, I should have built that camp. Safari Dave says, I really hope it gets rapid fire thunder. It could easily beat out the sticks if that's the case. It's if it's single shot, they're probably more even. Well, here's the deal. With it having seven shots. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to find out. Because what I remember about the sticks is that the sticks like Bogun doesn't actually have very high attack. And it compensated for that by having uh it compensated for that by having the um Spare shot, built-in spare shot. But I'm thinking, you know, you could just build... No, you couldn't, though. No, you couldn't build... 
true spare shot. So you are going to be running spare shot. Yeah, you're right. It might be close. It might be close, but the built-in 390 attack is very promising. Because what I would expect it to go up to then is about 415. That's what I'm expecting it to go up to in the next level. So it should be about 415 if I had to guess. Maybe even higher. It could be like 420. Wouldn't that be funny if it was 420? That'd be ridiculous. No, we don't want Glumgrass. Where's our... Uh, we need our hot drink. There we go. Hot drink. Alright. Let's get up there. I tried to roll. Did you hear me hit the button? I hit the button so hard too. You ever go? You ever go for like that hard roll and you just hit the button like twice as hard as you normally would? You're like, frick! <laughs> All right, piercing pod. Oh god. And we are already blighted, dude. This guy's crazy. It's Emma. Wait, is this Emma from the? Uh... Is this Emma from the chat? Are you actually in the run? And where did he go, by the way? He's over here. Is he still... He's still up top. Ouch. Woo! Alright, we got the same arm. Oh, no, that's his chest. I suck. Alright, here's the same arm. Let's get this softened. I wanted it! Oh, gosh dang it. <laughs> I'm watching everyone play. Alright, he's gonna be thrown into a wall. Nice job on that. See me use the piercing pod to freeze him in place? That was so good. I should be doing that more often. Dude, I should be doing that all the time. Keep the monster from moving. Oh, I actually got the iframe on that, but I didn't actually land the blow. I was going to get that too, but he flinched. Alright. That was... Good. I was liking that, man. I have to remember that. Oh, I'm going to be doing that all the time. Why didn't I do that sooner? So, Crystal Burst would be able to do this. Uh, Slinger Bombs would be able to do this. Piercing Pods obviously can do it. Any, any pod that can definitely flinch a monster can be used to hold the monster still before you do your Roundhouse Slash. Or uh, the other move as well, right? There's the uh, move before Roundhouse Slash, and that's the long one. Too early? Too early. And he's off. Yeah, you... you Yeah, don't you know, Slinger Burst is a guaranteed flinch. Oh, wait, Slinger Burst is a guaranteed flinch? So even if I had stones, it would flinch him? That's ridiculous. If it's true, yeah. I, I need to test, test that with stones. I didn't know that. Scrap Needleberry. That's why you gotta play the game a long time, man. You get these things to work out, and then you're like, that's nice. He's not roaring. I was so tempted to pull the trigger there. You have no idea. Yeah, look, even when the tail is softened, you're doing less damage to the tail with the longsword. We did uh, 80s to it. Oh, come, give me a break, man. Ouch. 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 Dude, <laughs> stop staggering me. Oh, 
Oh my god. Let's go ahead and have a max potion. We need to get our helm splitter out or else we're going to lose this. Let's go for it. That move's so confusing because it looks like an attack that you can use the um, Foresight Slash on, but it's not. It's like him just dancing, basically. Oh, I'm tremored. God damn it. So the water, I... Oh, I see. I got it now. There's a... Oh, I'm going to totally add that to things you didn't know about Iceborne. I understand the ice now. There's actually a ring you can see that comes out of the, out of the um, floating ice, and that's when the tremor comes. There's a visual giveaway to it. Boop. Oh. I think we got it. No, I don't think we got it. Oh my god, he's going to KO us. Are we KO'd? No, we're not. We're good. This little bird's gonna try and kill us, though. Get away from us, bird. Nice, 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 nice. for you oh oh it's beautiful oh the long sword is so well made no wonder it's the most played weapon it's so interactive compared to some of the other weapons Oh, that hurts. Like, even if I was holding a giant hammer, the moveset itself is more interactive than other movesets. It's simple, right? So if they if they took the visual aspect of the, the uh, long sword away and gave it over to the, uh, I'm sorry, the sword, I'm sorry, the hammer, you would still be having a lot of fun with it because I think somebody interrupted my, um, I think I got launched by my teammate too early on that. You would still be having a lot of fun with it because the actual moveset for the long sword is really good. The actual moveset. He's gone. Nice job. Let's go ahead and carve him up. So we should have enough. Oh, you know what? We got to get the layered armor too. BTW, the sticks is 338 raw, so it's a very big difference, Game Economist. Thank you, man. I was about to look that up. I'm thinking that it will end up being the best Thunder Light Bowgun. So if it comes out to about 315 for its attack value and sticks as 338, that difference in raw is so large that even though it's not rapid rapid fire, it should be dealing more damage. Because it is not easy. It's not easy to get your raw damage up. You know what I'm talking about? It's actually... Um, You've got like attack boost, which is kind of inefficient. You got agitator, which is nice, but it only goes up to five. So, uh, what else do you have? You got peak performance, but peak performance is an active all the time, and all those are very expensive. So when you're talking about a difference of, you know, whatever that would be, what was that? That'd be about sixty plus, uh, maybe fifteen, maybe fifteen. So you're talking about a difference of like seventy-five attack. It's a huge difference. So the lack of the rapid fire might not, and the, the lack of the rapid fire and the the lack of the spare shot might not matter Emma says that was me <laughs> I thought it was you <laughs> Sangro says nice job how's it going Sangro thanks for joining man Kenks 360 says armor isn't out yet oh wait so is it going to be a full layered armor set I thought it was just going to be like a skin they're going to have an armor set too that'd be crazy 
The ammo is sad, only paralysis and thunder. No, that's fine. So when it comes to the light bow guns, similar to the bows, you run a, a bow gun for each elemental ammo type. Do you see what I'm saying? So when you play the bows, you have a fire bow set up, a water bow, a thunder bow, dragon bow, uh, whichever ones I'm missing bow. So you run all of the elements. Well, it's the same with the light bow guns. So if this ends up being the best thunder light bow gun, that's actually really meaningful. Especially because, I mean, think about it. Remember Kulv Taroth? One of the best setups against Kulv Taroth. It was an elemental bow gun. Remember that? It was the Styx light bow gun specifically. So, yeah, you can see how the bow gun's elemental ammos are fairly relevant. Let's go craft it. Says you can't upgrade the bow. What? The two armor sets and the bow and light bow gun upgrades. There's going to be a bow. Will be in December. I didn't know that. There's going to be a bow too. Oh no. Time to get salty. <laughs> if you're on the uh, Xbox. <laughs> I'd be like, I don't even care. I don't even care. It's dumb. I don't even care. I don't even play light bow gun. I don't even want it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and craft it. <laughs> I reached the box base limit. Oh, well, they actually increase it. Yeah, they increase it. Ooh, shiny. What a weird looking light bow gun. Look at that. It looks like it would shoot thunder ammo, doesn't it? It's a weird looking weapon, man. Almost looks like it's from another video game or something. Crazy. Um. So I am realizing we cannot build an optimized setup for this light bow gun because I lack the silver Rathalos armor, don't I? Yes, I do. And we should probably start putting that together. So we'll craft this first. The bows from the base game collapse. Oh, okay. Thanks for the run, Blue Heart. No problem, Emma. Here, we'll put you in snack funds for fun. Oops. Spell that right. Thank you very much. Turn my volume down. <laughs> I just realized how loud the volume is. Check out the pendant, too. Oh, there's a pendant. Okay. Ooh, shiny. That's pretty shiny. See, now if we had crossover, if we had, not crossover, if we had um, cross-play, all the PlayStation players can show off to the Xbox players, and the Xbox players would be like, Grr, where's our Halo? We need our Halo collab. Grr. So we need two for this, and then I guess we need some for the bow and the armor set, huh? Interesting. Better get out there and kill Silver Rathalos. That's right. Let's find out what Silver Rathalos is weak to. I don't actually remember. Actually, you know what? No, let's fight this guy one more time. Oh, how many times do you think we got to fight him? I bet we got to fight him a bunch. Let's fight him. We're going to trade our item loadout. We're going to fight that Zenogre a few more times. What do, what do you guys think is better? Going after the, the Zenogre. We could go for the Zenogre to collect more of the... Let's go one more time. I'm thinking about it. Let's go one more time so I can pick up the pendant. That's why I'm deciding. All right, we'll grab the item. We'll pick up the pendant, and then we'll start grinding for the Silver Rathalos armor set. And I'm trying to remember what piece of the set you don't actually bring. I think it's the legs. You skip the legs, and you bring Garuga legs. Wait, 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 before we begin, let's see if we can buy that camp. I want that camp in the back so we can spawn right next to him. Gold Viverian print, wow. Alright, so complete deliveries. Armory, setting up camp, Horfrost Reach. Da da! Da da! Da da! All right, perfect. We got a bunch of camps set up. Should have done that a while ago. Raymond says at least 10 times. Woo, we'll have to save that for another. See, we won't do it. We won't do it 10 times here. I won't make you guys suffer through that because that is too many times in my opinion. So I won't make you guys suffer through that. We'll get another run done and then we'll see if we can make the pendant. 
Catherine says, yeah, I don't even want that good-looking Meta Light Bowgun. Pfft, who would want it? <laughs> There's my rear, rare claps for you, Emma. What? <laughs> Capcom, give Xbox a Halo crossover with a giant grunt to fight. That would be amazing if they did that. That would be awesome. God, I'd love that. Did you check the ammo and clips? I did. It, it is a good looking light bowgun, particularly for thunder ammo, but even for for uh, Pierce, I'm curious if it's any good at Pierce. Uh, if the raw damage on it is high enough, it could be, could be good for Pierce. Happy little trees. How's it going, Falcon Geist? Falcon Geist? I don't know if I said that right. By the way, if you guys are enjoying the stream, don't forget to hit the like button. I wonder if we can get to 300 likes. I've never hit 300 likes in a stream. I don't think I have. Maybe in one of those huge streams where we had like 4,000 people watching. He's right. It's Silver Rathalos and Gold Raytheon. What? I don't know what you're talking about. All right, stand by for departure. So after this, if you guys have Silver Rathalos quests you can share, probably the uh, material investigations would be best. We'll help grind up my character to get those Silver Rathalos armor set, and we'll put together a, a build for this bowgun. I'm very, very familiar with the bowgun build, so I can put a good one together for you guys. Nick Dinner says, hey, how do I join you guys? I'm always playing by myself. Uh, Nick Dinners, you could do two things. You can rewind the stream to the beginning where I show off the session ID. Alternatively, you can hop into the Discord server and check the session ID chat. There's a chat that you can check, and I always post it there early. I got to get in the habit of liking the streams. Yeah, I'd really appreciate it, actually. I think it actually helps. I, I didn't think it did, but I think it actually does, now that I've tested it out on the Pokemon stream. Yes. Hose mad times 24 for Xbox. <laughs> Let's get grab this sticky ammo. Oh, PlayStation. <laughs> the exclusive content continues. That's the real battle between the consoles, to tell you the truth. It's not about hardware. It's about exclusive content. It's pretty strictly about the exclusive. I mean, I, you could make a case for the... I guess you could make a case for hardware, but I think mostly what people want is the exclusive content. You know what I mean? Like, Nintendo's been behind on hardware for a while and they continue to sell out because they got the games that people want to play Boop. you're going down All right, I'm gonna try and get a second flint shot on this guy for my teammates. Did it not work? Ah, it didn't work. All right, I have earplugs. God, earplugs are so nice to have. Let's start a petition for a hunting horn that gives attack up large and earplugs. run back over to him. We're kind of like getting knocked back here. Did he get mounted? Three, four, five, six. 660 damage right there, guys. One, two, Three, three hundred and thirty. One, two, three, three hundred and thirty. Two, three, three hundred and thirty. Oh, we're not getting that much spare shot.
There we go, there's four shots. The trick to the sticky ammo, because it doesn't quite deal the damage you want it to deal, the trick to it is to really never stop firing. Just keep firing under every condition. Aim for the head as best as you can, but if you can't hit the head, it's okay. Oh, he's running it too, man. That's two of us. Woo! Go for the head! <laughs> Brr. Light bow guns, man. They feel better than ever just because of the sticky ammo, that's it. The sticky ammo on the light bogan was all it ever needed. Couldn't really run it in the past because of the hot, heavy recoil. Now you can get high recoil on them. It's just way better than it used to be. It's <laughs> gonna drive him into the wall. Nice job. Oh, what? I didn't realize I had any. I, I thought I had to reload. He can be flinch shotted again. Oh. Not anymore. Nothing. Alright. Well, I, I didn't want to use a claw attack because I'm pretty sure I, if I tried to use one claw attack, it would enrage him, so. Grab these piercing pods. Easy. Whoa. He's not done. Brr. Ah, he's not that close. Oh well. It's hard to tell these days. <laughs> Take me with you. <laughs> oh, what? Is he just running on back? Let's get those likes. We got 146 likes. Nice. Thanks, guys. Need the rest of the event quest for the armor and hopefully weapon upgrades to light bowgun and old bow. Apparently I don't have this old bow. I should pick it up. I didn't know there was a bow for... See, I didn't even know about it. It's funny. So I didn't have to feel jealous. I didn't know it existed. Ouch. I still got smacked by him. Let's put on our temporal mantle real fast. Okay. What the hell? I got knocked off. Okay, I'm going for the head. Dude, I wounded it. Alright, the head will take more damage now. Help the bow guys out a little bit. There's a bow and an insect glaive user. Thing I got temporal mantle on. Past the Wallagler. What? Wallagler says, finally some content. Uh, but it's so sad because actually only one console can play it, you know? PlayStation. 
Look at me trying to dodge that roar when I've got earplugs. So dumb. Oh, that hurts. I'm dead. Oh, I am dead. <laughs> I thought I was... I was just joking. I didn't think I would really die. Let's have this hot drink. Oh, yeah. You think the hot drink is actually warm? No, it's, it's like... It's the, the uh, Carolina Reaper. That's what it is. And they put it into a drink. And I'm just drinking it because I'm crazy. I'm crazy about that hot sauce. If you chose the right console, you can play it. Oh my god, Will Agler. <laughs> I will never use another pendant. Love the focus from HZD. Oh, you like the way it looks. Uses a light bogan build. Uses regular trank bombs. Trank ammo. Am I a joke to you? <laughs> it's true. I should be using the uh, trank ammo. It's better, isn't it? Can you paralyze the ogre? I can't remember. I guess we'll try. I can't remember if he's immune to para uh, paralyze. I think he is, right? Would make sense if he was. Kieran is. Nope, he's not. Because that makes perfect sense. Also, he's dead. I'm currently eating the best Din Din ever. Oh yeah, what are you having for Din Din? Let's hear it. What's up? Can't wait for PC release. How's it going, Angus Chen? I thought you were making a joke. <laughs> All right. Xenographer. Sweet. Let's grab this Xenographer material. Fulgur bug. Shoot you right in the face. Pew. You didn't think I would do it, did ya? But I'm crazy. What can I say? I'm a man of the world. <laughs> Got the prized pelt. That's all we ever needed. Wow, that's shiny. Why is it so shiny? Is that a glitch? That doesn't seem right. Ooh! Oh, no! We only got one! Oh! Don't you hate it when the game is selfish and it's like, you can only have one Banuk warrior symbol? Now we can't make the shiny pendant. Oh, I'm so sad. We got Thunder Resist Jewel. That's nice. That seems irrelevant. Well, that was a fun event. Back to the grinding lines. Exactly. It's one of those events that you finish in like one run. <laughs> Cooked up some chicken and steamed broccoli thrown into some cheddar spiral macaroni. Ew. No, I'm just kidding. Hello, what vibes this mis mission? What? 205 says, no, it took so long to get this job. Don't fire me. <laughs> what? Maximilian, people have, people have been getting weird with the face decorations lately. Oh, I see. Craig Funk says, try again. I got four on my second run. You can get four. I want four. Why don't I get four? All right, I say we go for the Silver Rathalos, though. So if you guys want to post Silver Rathalos, I'd appreciate that. We'll go for our Longsword build for now. I don't even know if I've... Have I fought Silver Rathalos before? Let's go ahead and join a quest. Everyone's doing the Frozen Wilds. Let's just see if we actually have one we can... You guys probably don't even want to play them, but... I gotta, I gotta get the armor set, man. Already done it once. Let's see if I actually have him up here. I don't know if I have him up here. Hello. Should be able to fight him though. Wolg? <laughs> Probably only have to fight him up. About two or three times and we'll have it done. It's weird. Oh no, everyone just wants to play this. <laughs> Actually, uh, there's not that many quests up. Maybe we can search for Silver Wrath if nobody's going to post. There we go. Silver Wrath. 
No SOS flares. Whoa. That's a surprise. I'm sure they're listening. Say Ethrath. S. Wrath. There we go. Got Pile posted a quest. Let's see if that's the one. Nice. Thank you very much. That's what we're looking for. He's got Deep Schnegel. I just got kicked from a quest for being stunlocked. That sucks. It's so sad that you can't have all armor weapon charms at the same time because of the box space limit. Well, the box space really shoots up in Iceborne, so it's not as big of a deal. Rami says, you need silver. I have silver in Arena. Well, we're probably looking for a silver Rathalos fight where you get the material rewards, like one of those investigations. That'll probably be faster. So this one will give me four. I should probably eat for, like, Lucky Cat or something. Dead game already after three months into release? Yeah, uh, sort of. I think that the problem is you've got all these other games to play now. And Iceborne has not offered us a boss. We gotta have a boss! So the announcement for Iceborne needs to be a boss or it's gonna be big trouble. They gotta offer a boss to us or it's gonna be, it's gonna be, uh-oh, stinky. I'm worried they're gonna be offering a siege monster, which the siege monster might keep people happy for a while. Honestly though, my prediction, if it's a siege monster next, my prediction is that people are already tired of Kolv and they're going to immediately feel that Kolvish sort of design. So if the next siege monster isn't very different from Kolv Taroth, if it doesn't, excuse me, if it doesn't feel very different from Kolv Taroth, people will get tired of it very quickly and they'll be like, why am I even grinding this? Because you know, it'll just be obsolete, right? So that's the problem. When something is too grindy, people kind of lose hope in the grindiness. That's what happens. They go, I'm just wasting my life on this, right? So that's what happens when something feels too grindy and not rewarding enough. And that's my concern for the next siege monster. I'm really hoping they don't fall into that problem, right? Because Kov Taroth, she was, she was new. We hadn't experienced anything like her. Anything quite like her, you know what I mean? She felt she had a lot of complexity and mechanics to her, and she had a lot of cool rewards. They don't have that again. They, they can't they can't simply copy and paste with this the way I feel like they've done that a little bit with a lot of the content for Iceborne. They can't copy and paste the Siege Monster, though, because the Siege Monster in the base game was the most played monster, I'm sure of it. So so that monster of all the all the monsters they released, that one has to feel the most unique when it gets released. Okay, here we go. Let's let's redirect this Silver Rathalos. Jump over here. I hope it would be a ramped up Fatalis Siege. Hopefully. Whatever it is, it's got to feel really different from Kolf. That's all I got to say. Because if it doesn't, they're, I think they're going to be in trouble if it doesn't feel different enough. I think, well, basically what will happen, they won't be in trouble, but basically what will happen is a lot of players will stop playing. That's what I think will happen. Angus says, one option is that you just get materials, but you need a bunch of materials from the Siege to craft a weapon you want. I don't know. I don't know what they'll do. Um... You know, RNG, RNG rewards have their own kind of like place in video gaming. You know, when you play a game for a long time, you unlock all the RNG stuff, all the rare stuff. And it's almost like you get to stand out from other players who didn't invest as much time as you did, right? So obviously you could have it. I, I kind of understand better why you might have RNG in a game like this. And this is because if you can just find out exactly what the most powerful whatever is, right, the most powerful weapon, the most powerful armor, then everyone will just go out and very efficiently craft it and have it in, like, a very short amount of time, and then everyone will be equally powerful. But with RNG, you go, nope, I played, I put the hours in, I played much more than you, and now I have all the rare stuff and you don't, and this sets us apart. So that's, I think that's the point of RNG in video games. It's one of the reasons why it's appealing. It's actually the same way with collector's items like Pokemon cards. It's an idea that I've been kind of trying to understand better because I, I've been collecting these cards, right? So the whole idea is you have it, other people don't, is awesome, and you had to invest to get it. Well, when you're playing a video game, what do you invest? You invest your time. Oh my god, this guy's so annoying. Oh, 
Uh, so I don't mind RNG mechanics as much anymore now that I think about it. My point is the actual fight, mechanically the fight itself, has to be very different, in my opinion. Oh, gosh dang it. Oh nice, I didn't even realize he could be thrown into a wall. <laughs> Don't roar, don't roar. Got it. Now you can roar. Let's back away from this guy. He's gonna kill me. Let's get our mantle on. We got the mantle. Oh my god. It's all trans... If it's all transmog, Capcom is good. I've thought about the transmog, too. I actually agree with the Capcom that there should be no transmog main armor. So, what Capcom should do... Here's my opinion on the layered armor sets. What they should do is they should not make the armor pieces, the ones that are actually related to skills, they should not allow those to be transmogable armor. It should always be set up so that when you see that armor, you know it's representing the skill related to that armor set. I think that's actually very important. Nice, we got it. I think that's actually very important because when you see that piece of armor, you go, I know exactly what the player's doing. It tells you something about the player. Same with the weapons. I actually, oh, hey. Okay. <laughs> that kind of confused me for a moment. <laughs> um, same with the weapons. I actually don't like that the augmentation now allows you to hide which weapon you're using. I think that's actually exactly what they were avoiding with the armor, and they were doing the right thing to avoid it. And now they've kind of screwed things up. Now you can actually hide your weapon, and people are like, what the we what the heck is that weapon, right? And they can only guess, basically, or, you know, they can make very good guesses by, you know, logic. You can logically deduce which weapon it should be, but you can't, you can't literally see what it is. And I, I disagree with that. I think that's actually bad. So I would get rid of the transmog idea. I don't think it'll, it'll be a good idea. Here's what they should do, though. What they should do is they should offer layered armors that people actually really like. See what I'm saying? So one of the problems with the layered armor options that we get is a lot of them are kind of ugly. You know, that's just the truth. A lot of them are pretty ugly. But the silver, the silver knight armor is like one of the few armor sets that I find really good looking. It's one of the armor sets I'll actually, one of the layered armor sets I'll actually wear, the Silver Knight. And they need to release more armor sets like that. They need to release armor sets that people will actually really want. Same with like the handler for the Resident Evil crossover. Remember the Resident Evil crossover? People were like mad because they're like, well, the best part is the handler outfit and we have to pay for that. And it's like, well, that's the first time really where you want it badly. And then you realize that, oh yeah, this is uh, paid for content. But it shows you in the past, they haven't really ever made anything so good that people got frustrated that they couldn't have it. And that to me is the sign that they needed to improve the quality of what they were picking, you know? It's the same with the layered armor. The layered armor should be so good that, you know, it, uh, you want to wear it. Hold on. Oh man, I really wanted to get that. I just couldn't sheath in time. I wonder if quick sheath is actually a good idea for the longsword. Because the EI Spirit Slash, being able to get that set up sooner might actually be useful. Someone trying to save me here. Did Geologist skill get nerfed in the Guiding Lands? Yeah, that's something we're always scared about and always wanting to test. <laughs> uh, but last time I checked, it's still working. Nice job. Get this tail cut, huh? Yep, there it goes. Nice job. Monster Hunter G, you allowed any armor to be paid. Should have just gone back to that. Yeah, but see, then you don't know. So you don't know what the player is using. Then that's the problem. It basically, it ironically makes the. Oh my god, he just wrecked me so hard. It ironically makes all of the appearances of the armor kind of meaningless, doesn't it? 
See the problem? So when you can transmog any armor set to look like any armor set, then the skills that a particular armor set has doesn't matter anymore. You no longer associate Master's Touch with Teostra. You no longer associate, you know, uh, Divine Protection Secret or Tool Specialist Secret with the Lunastra armor set or the Gold, uh, Gold Raytheon armor set. You no longer associate Master's Touch with the Draken armor set. You don't do that anymore because you don't know what anyone's wearing. They could be wearing anything. They're just, it's some Laird armor. And all of a sudden, this changes like how the game feels actually. It changes it significantly. See, when you can look at a player and you recognize their weapon and you recognize their armor set, this gives you information about what's going on in your fight. You're like, oh yeah, so they're using a XYZ setup. See what I'm saying? So there's different things they could do, but honestly, I think for Laird armor, it should remain unrelated to the actual armor sets that offer skills to the player. If they were going to transmog any of the armor sets, it should be strictly high rank armor sets because they're obsolete. So when you see those armor sets, you know that is a layered armor set, right? But in order to maintain like this understanding of the, the skills of each armor set visually, they should, oh nice, they shouldn't do that for the master rank armor sets. As good as, as good looking as they are. I understand that, the desire to use them because they look so good. Whoa. Yeah, I realized, I realized I wouldn't like it if I couldn't tell what everyone was wearing. Which is exactly what Laird Armor will do, basically hide what everyone's wearing. And he runs me over. All of the appearances are meaningless in my opinion. You can't wear a full set of any armor because it's bad. Well, and I can understand that frustration too. You know, I think a lot of players would like to wear a full armor set of their favorite armor set. Uh, and that's one of the things you give up in order to be able to tell, you know, what's what. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Yeah, that's one of the, one of the nice things you give, have to give up. One... Two, three, two, four. You can check people's equipment in player list. Oh my god, I can't believe we actually got him. Ooh. I understand that. I, I actually like to be able to see what players are running without having to look into that list though. the button. I can't believe I was late. Let's put this back on. Wow, this fight's taking a while, actually. He's not tempered. Falling stalactites use up a uh, level of your temp uh, temporal mantle. <laughs> oh, I was so ready for it, but then he got interrupted, actually. I want to use Namiel armor, but stats are not good. No one uses it, so it's just a forgotten equipment. No, actually, people do use the Namiel ar armor set. Namiel armor set's part of the uh, meta, right? Yeah. Oh, nice job. So does Shock Trap work on Zenogre, or did my just break randomly? No, it works on him. Edward got the right idea. What did Edward say? Give an option to turn off other players' layered option. Oh, yeah, okay. That's a good idea. I like that. That is a good idea. Cursed One says, Elitist is also an... Adjective that describes lame economist. VG Gamify says, if you are that worried about other people's skills and setups, solo is always an option. Oh, I, it's not about me. I'm just saying I'm not the only one that likes to see other people's skills when you're playing with them. It's not because I'm worried that you're under. You guys are misunderstanding. It's not because I'm worried you're undergeared. 
It's just because I actually enjoy looking at your armor sets and trying to think in my mind and see if I have the armors memorized so that I can know your build. Yes, it has nothing to do with... I, I, I play with people who need help all the time. Yeah, I, I actually go out of my way to play with people who, like, for example, today we were fighting Extreme Behemoth t together. So it doesn't it doesn't really bother me if you're using a, a non-optimal setup. I just enjoy seeing what your setup is. Does that make sense? Farfalla says trap won't work on Zenogre if his charged. Oh, was he talking about Zenogre? I thought he was talking about Silver Rathalos. All right, let's go ahead and post. No, wait, wait, wait. Let's go see what we can craft. That's what we're doing. Game economist, the elitist. <laughs> Everyone's pointing fingers at each other. You're the elitist. Forge equipment. Oh, not weapon. Armor. As you all know, I'm a well-known elitist in the Monster Hunter community. <laughs> okay, so what is this? Guiding Reef Dragon Bone. Interesting. Silver Rathalos Cortex, so we need more of those. We're going to need at least six of them, five of them. Guiding Reef Crystal. So we're going to have to fight him a few times, actually. Yeah, we'll have to fight him at least three more times if you don't mind. My Charge Blade game is pretty poor as well, says Waggler. Charge Blade, huh? Let's play the Charge Blade in the next run. I think my Longsword is actually dealing more damage. I think I'm better at it. Also, it's just a better setup than the one I'm using for the Charge Blade, honestly. I absolutely hate the look of mixed armor sets, but most full armor sets aren't good. I use the alloy armor all the time because I hate it so much. I just like having it cohesive, a bit OCD in that regard. Alright, let's go ahead and choose Joint Quest. You know, maybe it's just a difference in how we en enjoy the game, really. Oh, what is someone says, bro, I love you, Game Economist. Thank you, Trey. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Maybe I got a Silver Wrath quest. Bro. How did I get another Gold Rivarian print already? Nope. Still don't have any Wrath. I need that Silver Los. Go capture Pokemon. Charge Blade more like... Smart Blade. Gozu says, yep, I like seeing what people are wearing too because sometimes it gives me ideas. Well, like, look at this armor set. So this clearly does not match. But the moment I see somebody with the Zora Magdaros on the Charge Blade, I know that they're going for a uh, Artillery 5 setup. And then I, I get to think about it and I go, well, is that because they're doing mixed defense and Artillery 5? Or is it, uh, you know, some other reason? Well, probably that reason, right? And then I get to see what charge blade they're using. So I got to make sure that I get to think about whether the charge blade they're using is the correct charge blade for that sort of setup. Hold on. Joint quest. It just gives me something to think about when I'm playing. Ooh, there's a good one too. We got five rewards here. That's good. Gives me something to think about. I don't have any trap tools, huh? <laughs> We're gonna buy two box trap tools. We'll just buy a hundred of them. Bruh! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> Go for the shock trap, and we'll go ahead and craft a hundred of them, right? We'll craft ninety of them. We got these thunderbugs coming in, so we might as well. Can't believe we're almost out of nullberries. We got so much to farm on this account. Maybe we should be using a uh, brute tigrix setup, so that we don't have to farm as much because there's so much we need. All right, and we're ready. I think. Emma, just wear four-piece silver lows. Look beautiful. <laughs> Otis says, hey, game economist, do you play fighting games? It's so funny. I had that same question earlier today. Um, I, I primarily play Monster Hunter World, and I have played fighter games like Soul Calibur and Tekken, especially. And then the fighter game I played the most is uh, Smash Brothers. There we go. 
Kevin says, is Brute Tigrix as good for support as regular Tigrix? You kind of mix and match them. No homo? What are you guys talking about? <laughs> I want a Laird to match this new bowgun. Oh, nope, we're going to go over here. I'm not gay, but sometimes I play charge blade, says Kev. Kev. Let's eat a meal. We're going to go for... We'll go for Bombardier to help the match go by faster. Chad Conomist with Chad Conomist with all his unlocks. For real, I think you're the best monster hunter. Man, I, I actually am missing so much. Let's run this way. I'm I'm missing so much armor and everything. <laughs> they hot AF, but too revealing. They don't leave much to the imagination. What is she talking about? If only that was true for Bracky Armor. You know what? I was thinking about making a video called How to Dress Like a Slut <laughs> in Monster Hunter World because it would be very heavy clickbait. And what I would do is I would take my PC character... Well, and this is the problem. I don't have a female character. Maybe I could borrow someone's female character. But it would be like a guide on how to dress your female character as sexy as possible. <laughs> I didn't want that to hit me. Oops. That didn't do anything. Oh, that sucks. I actually didn't mean to do that. Well, he's mad now. Let's go ahead and put on our temporal mantle. We're doing a good 155 to him. That's too bad. Damn. All right. Temporal's going to break any second now. How did that not hit him? Oops, all right, so that's broken. Let's go ahead and get the health booster out now. And I'm grabbed. Nice heal. Emma says, I was just talking about Garuga Lake. Oh, I was talking about Garuga Lake. I see. <laughs> it just made me think about it though. I have a lot of video ideas. I have like a whole list of video ideas and I'm always like adding to it, but I never get them done. I try to pick like the best one out of the lot. Don't do it. Don't do it. He's mounted? Yeah, he's mounted. Don't fly, don't fly, don't fly, don't fly. I don't think that even did that much damage. I think a lot of those missed. Is he too high in the air, maybe? There he goes. Woo! Why won't he hold still? <laughs> Alright, we gotta get our shield back. That's not what I was trying to do at all. That's not what I was trying to do either. Oh, 
Oh, nice. We were just out of the range of that. Nice job. Oh. Nice, 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 nice. Another trap. These guys are big brain right now. Ah, the whole thing missed. That's too bad. It's because I had it aimed where he was, and then he, when he got exhausted like that, went to, he went just far enough to the side that we were gonna miss the whole thing. I should have gone for it. He stood still. Should have gone for it. Oh, there he goes. Oops. Somebody interrupted me. Just sub to Dahlia. What? <laughs> Somebody trying to spam the chat? There's totally Monster Hunter World gameplay on P Hub. Also, didn't expect to get Nergi getting railed. WTF, people. What? What are you guys talking about? What do you guys go searching for? Oh my god. Please. I'm under the age of 13. You guys. Gonna have to disable chat. <laughs> oh, that's not part of the plan, is it? Ouch. And he's gone. Nice job. Do, 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 do. Scooby. Wait, why did he get muted? Ryu Boo, did you beat the Elite Four already? While Aguilar said, I saw the timeout and was like, shh, I done fucked up. Well, Aguilar, you gotta be careful, man. <laughs> I thought Ryu was doing it bad. He wasn't. He asked me a question about Pokemon. He asked me a, a question related to the Pokemon game. Yeah, you gotta be more careful, man. Oh, the tail, right. You're right, Ray. Hold on. Please give me the tail. Seconds left. And I didn't get it. Son of a, son of a blee blop. The light bowgun has a unique sound effect, says Rami. Oh, very cool. Walla did a noopsie. Yeah, you better apologize, man, to Ryu. That's no good. Poor Ryu, he didn't even do anything wrong. He was asking me a legit question. I thought he was doing some bad thing to, to be hidden. Everyone hit downvote on Walt Wal Agler. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Copperhead, how's it going, man? He says, I like to mix my layered armor with my real armor. So for my hammer set, I use Stamina Thief Secret, but I don't like the legs and armor, so I just use the Gala Legs and the Bathhouse Arms Waist. Hmm. Maybe I'm just bad at fashion. I've never been that interested in the layered armor sets. Well, they just don't appeal to me. I like the silver nice, uh, the silver knight armor set the most. 
Uh, but that's about it. Playing it in the training area, it doesn't feel right, though. Huh. Weird. Did you beat the Elite Four yet? Game comments. Please don't mute me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Please don't mute. All right. So we're going to build the arms. Don't equip yet. For the chest, we need more wings. Yeah, we're going to need to play them one to two times more, it looks like. So one to two times more runs. And then what we'll have to do is we'll have to run off to the Guiding Lands and grab the materials that we need, the ore. So we'll be very close at that point. And then we'll be ready to set a build together. Man, th th this character is so damn poor. Is that Greatest Jaggers? Oh my god, it's Greatest Jaggers. Gut pile. See you later, gut pile. Gave me more enjoyment than the whole event. I actually thought it was me at first. What? <laughs> Let's go ahead and change equipment. So these are our three builds right now. Rajang Barrage, Rajang Beast Blade, and Wyvern Blade. We should add more builds to our... We should definitely add more builds to our PlayStation account. Did you get your Doggo Legendary? Doggo Legendary? What's a Doggo Legendary? Adidas posted a quest. Let's see what he posted. If I said that right. Oh, hell yeah. Let's get going, man. Easy wins. How's the crossover? Asks JV. Well, we completed it a few times, and then we built the very interesting looking bowgun. Uh, but we're we're on my PlayStation account, and I'm going to need the Silver Rathalos armor set to put a build together for it. So we're picking up the Silver Rathalos armor set. We're we've fe defeated him twice. I think probably two more times it will be done. Then we gotta head over to the Guiding Lands and pick up some gosh dang uh, mining materials, and then we can finish the Silver Rathalos armor set. At which point we will put together a Thunder Ammo setup for that bogan, because I suspect that's what it's going to do best. Snitches get stitches. Hope he's still around. 186 likes. Let's hit 300. Oh my God! Can we hit a hundred? Can we hit 300 likes? Is it even freaking possible? Is it possible? Oh my God! We're trying to hit 300 likes. You permanently muted him. You better not have permanently muted him. If you did, I don't even know how to undo that. Hold on. Can we permanently unmute him? I do not want him permanently muted. Yeah, you did actually. You hit him. I'm going to unhide him. There you go. Here, I'm going to make Ryu the... He's the new mod. <laughs> Is he still here? <laughs> Let's see if he's still here. He's still here. Ryu Boo. <laughs> Wait, the event started? Please forgive us. <laughs> now Ryu's gonna mute Wagler. No, no, no. We won't do that. Here, we'll, we'll remove moderator from him. I hardly know you, Ryu, but uh, no, we're sorry about that, man. I think somebody hit the wrong buttons on you. I don't know why. <laughs> No, 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 you absolutely can ask questions about that, Ryu. I don't know what happened. Uh, I think that Wallagler was... He's a moderator, and I think he accidentally muted you. Which, I don't know how that happens. That sounds crazy. Hit that start button, Razor. You know you want to. <laughs> Come back, a god. Wow, we actually... We've hit 217 likes. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> Make a sacrifice. <laughs> if you strike me down, I will become even more powerful than you could possibly imagine. Oh my god. It was my phone in my chest. Shake my head. HA says, does anyone have a build only based around the axe mode of a switch axe? Um, no. I should probably make a build like that. Probably could. Alright, let's head off to Northwest Camp. 
And let's go eat for Bombardier. I get kind of tired of eating for Bombardier. You guys ever get tired of eating for Bombardier? Whoa! Donation time! Mod War? I don't know. That sounds like risky business. <laughs> Thank you very much, David. <laughs> mod War sounds like a disaster. <laughs> the, the problem is the mods, you know, we joke about it, but they actually do have some serious power. Like, they can, look at this. He's got a glowing face. What is going on there? I want my face to glow. I want my face. I want a freaking glowing face. He gets the glowing face. Where's my glowing face? But yeah, we, we don't want Mod Wars. That would be bad. <laughs> It's so easy to accidentally mute someone. What? What are you talking about? Is he is he saying that sarcastically? He must be saying that sarcastically. It's kind of hard to accidentally mute someone, right? Oh, unless it's different from your phone. Maybe if it's different from your phone, it's very easy. All right, let's see. All right, let's flash him when he's still on the ground, guys. Who did that? <laughs> you flash him when he's airborne. Because he's an annoying Biff, you know? Boop! You didn't need to turn him. We're good. Alright, second pod. Wait, did we not pick him up? Yeah, we did. We picked him up. Oh, okay, fine. We'll, we'll swap over here. Waiting for the best opportunity right now. I'm amazing. Did you see that? I waited. Patience, guys. Patience. On the second flint shot, you gotta be patient. You gotta make sure he's facing a wall. I'm amazing. How do I do it? Oh, I don't gotta roll that. I got earplugs. God dang it. Woo! I'm still alive, but I'm very badly burned. Let's have the max potion. And we will get the health booster down, too. Wait, is he mounted? He looks mounted. He's definitely mounted. Okay. Please, Oni-chan, smash the like button. Oni-chan! Oni-chan! Let's run up here to the head. Wow, we're at 231 likes. That's a lot, man. Oni-chan! Oh! Parts broken? That's right. Better have broken parts. Break your parts all day. It's funny how you can be like on the right part of the monster's body and all their moves just completely miss you. Oh, good. We got a Cortex. We actually need Cortexes. Gosh, man. This energy drink is so good. How did, how did humans make it before energy drinks? Like, what did they do with their lives? I guess they just got old and died and it was sad, you know? Now we have energy drinks. The world's different now, you know? Everything's changed. You guys can't see these amazing dodges because I'm up by the wall, but I actually just dodged like three moves. Oh, if I ever get too good at this game, people will start calling me an elitist. That's exactly how how it goes. People will be like, he's an elitist. What a jerk. Oh, and I got thrown off. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab these right here. Slinger Thorn. Ouch. It's too bad I got thrown off. He is ready to be thrown into a wall, guys. He's down. Who is using their flash pots willy nilly over there? Somebody. Hit him in the head as best as we can. Oh my god, I did not expect that. He gonna kill me in a minute. Run! Run! <laughs> nice job. That's the double flinch shot. Everyone should learn to double flinch shot in multiplayer because it is O freaking P. There's a ton of damage and the knockdown gives your whole team all this time on the, while he's on the ground to do more and more damage. Oh my god, but we're still alive. You can't defeat us. You can't defeat us. You got max potions. Alright, probably one more shot. Wait for my teammates to get a little closer. Ah, Jesus Christ, man. Part's broken. Let's go ahead and cut this... Told you. Told you one more shot. You know how long I've been doing this? I'm playing this paralysis ammo so long. I know all this stuff. It's memorized. You know a monster rarely gets away with more than four shots. Ouch. Got me in the middle of my reload. You win this time, Rathalos. Get off me. Get off me. Get off. Oh my god. I thought he was going to be done with me. I thought he was going to move over to my teammate. But nope, he was like, nope, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and kill you. Whew. Before energy drinks, people just made their own energy. But yes, there are a go they are a godsend. They're more than a godsend. They're a way of life. Energy drinks, probably the only thing I can recommend that you buy. They're perfectly healthy for you. It's been proven by science that energy drinks keep you young and healthy. <laughs> I'll stick with espressos and coffee. Yeah, but espressos and coffee, they do have caffeine in them, but they're not energy drinks. Simple. <laughs> Silver Rathalos is so dang cool. Yeah, he takes forever, doesn't he? Jesus. When does he learn to die, right? Come on, man. You're halting progress, Silver Rathalos. Ooh, Eddie's dead. Poor Eddie. Poor, poor Eddie. Oh, please kill him, guys. Alright, we're still alive. Let's go ahead and have, have our max potion. Wait, we didn't pick up new ammo, did we? Oh my god, we didn't pick up more ammo. Oh my god, this is all we have. <laughs> Whoops. Guess we should have thought about that before becoming peasants. I would prefer to shoot him in the head. He's exhausted. Does no one have any pods? I guess no one has any pods. Eddie's like, we got a trap over here. Back in my day, we did energy drinks, just the blood from our enemies. Back in my day. Back in my day. Oh my god, how is he not captured? Whee! Let's grab the slinger bomb. Whee! Oh my god, stop shooting us. Dude, this guy's everywhere. 
I got thrown off. Thank you, stalactite. Oh my god. I'm just gonna stand here. I drink lights and I'm thirsty. What? Back in my day, Four Loco was illegal. I remember Four Loco. <laughs> I didn't try it, obviously. I was too young. I remember it. I remember it being all over the news. New drink. Four Loco does the craziest thing, combining alcohol and caffeine. This is a heart attack in a bottle. People are like, oh man, we could do so much drugs. Woo! I'm surprised that alcohol is illegal. I mean... Most, not most, but a lot of like violence, you know, like homicides and, and assaults, a lot of them are done while you're drunk. Did you know that? Yeah, so there's actually, they, they keep track of when people commit violent acts and it's usually while drunk. And then you can actually overdose on alcohol. You can overdose very easily on alcohol, right? So alcohol poisoning is, is really bad for your brain in all kinds of ways. Alcohol is really unhealthy for your brain, right? It's just like... Oh, snap. It's really bad for your brain. Um, you're not supposed to mix it with all kinds of drugs. You do things you regret later. Not just violence, but all, all other kinds of things. You get DUIs. Kill people in your car driving home. Totally illegal. What? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Where am I? Oh, he grabbed me. Well, it just doesn't make sense that it's legal and marijuana is illegal. That's right, you don't get to do anything. Dude, he's ready to be thrown into anything right now. Please, guys, lead him into the trap. This fight has gone on for like 17 years now. Are you kidding me? We haven't done enough damage to him. Is anyone is anyone dealing damage? Says the guy who's out of sticky ammo. Okay, so he has grabbed us again. Oh, hold on. Had to let go of us. Nice, that doesn't even hit me. Do we have uh there's supposed to be stones over here or something, right? Doesn't it say there's stones somewhere? Really? This has brought shame to me that this is taking so long. <laughs> State governments make too much money off of alcohol to make it illegal. I know, right? Well, and you can make that argument for marijuana too. They make too much money while it's illegal. So you get to get to put them in prison and you get to confiscate their things and it's awesome. You need police officers for it. Imagine if marijuana was made legal and they couldn't do all their copping. What would they do? They'd have to get other jobs where they actually create a product or something. That would be horrible. Can't do that. No, I'm kidding. I actually do really appreciate cops. I really do. I'm a, I'm a fan of cops, even though they give you tickets and I don't like tickets. It's a hate-love relationship, let's say that. The cops themselves do a lot of hard work. Woo! people who pass the laws are usually the people who are crappy, you know what I mean? They're the ones who have like the special interests. They're the ones who, they gotta get elected and they need like a million dollars to get elected so they're gonna make some shady deal. Yeah, it's usually not the, the actual cops, right? And there's bad cops too, right? There's bad cops too. Oh, finally. <laughs> Dude. 237 likes. I feel the love, but I'm super needy, so 300 would be nice. Smash that like button, guys. Horizon Dawn crossover is out right now, asks Kevin. Yes, it is. Safari Dave says, you mean 50%. Is just say no still a thing? What, say no to drugs? God Terror Boy says, cop economist. That's right, I'm secretly a cop. I'm an undercover cop, and uh, I'm pretending to be a gamer so that I can catch you all evading taxes. I work for the FBI. FBI, open up. Survival jewel. I'm gonna I'm gonna bust bust you guys for not paying your taxes. 
Cops don't play Monster Hunter, bro. <laughs> bro! <laughs> I don't know, man. In the future, I bet most people will have played games. Everyone's going to claim to be a gamer. <laughs> yeah, I'm a gamer. Yeah, I'm part of it. I'm a nerd. It's cool now. How long does Silver Lows take? Like 20 minutes? <laughs> Yeah, 15 minutes silver lows. Well, I blame myself a little bit because I ran out of sticky ammo, but I figured the fight was almost over, right? Because by the time you're out of sticky, usually that's when you are done, right? But uh, apparently not. And it's not like I was missing my shots, so somebody just wasn't doing any damage. Somebody. Kevin says my build is too lit. What? Second Fleet Master. And let's choose Forge Equipment. Armor. We're still going for that Silver lo Lose Armor. So here we are. We need Guiding Reef Dragon Bone. We're going to go ahead and add this to the wish list. This is good because this will let us build dual blade builds as well. And we're going to add this one as well. So we need Guiding Reef and Guiding Reef. So we're going to head over to the Guiding Lance now, guys. And we're going to be farming up stuff over there. That Jang was crazy. What? Ray Jang? I'll tax evade all I want. It's a free country. Yeah, exactly. That's what the corporations say. Corporate greed, man. <laughs> corporations. Wow, I should get the Vital... Uh, the, um... Nah, I don't care. So, I don't care about damage here. What I care about is Geologist. Show me Geologist. All right, so we got Geologist plus four. We're going to pop that in here. And we're going to grab the last Geologist. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. My bad. Did I do that? All right, let's head out. We're heading off to the Guiding Lands. Maybe I should lock it. Let's lock it. All right, and then depart. Guiding lands, guiding. Emma should get a cheerleader role or something. Emma. Emma's getting the special role. I'll tax evade all I want. It's a free country. Too intelligent for this. Sh Emma goes, let's get 55 more. <laughs> Don says, I want to see your child. You can't see my child, Don. Is Ataman says, wow, I can't believe people are making fun of my Grender. This is why the game Grender is so pressed. 73 Maple uh, Maple Piper says, are taxes even written in the Constitution? That's a great question. I'm pretty sure it is. Let me look it up. I've never thought to ask that. The Congress shall have power to lay and collect taxes, duties, imposts, and excises to pay the debts and provide for the common defense and general welfare of the United States. In fact, it does. There you go. I never thought that chat would be begging for likes instead of the YouTuber. Emma should get H. Oh, I already read that one. <laughs> Is the Rejang better sticky than the Shara Heavy Bowgun? Uh, that's a funny question because the best sticky ammo heavy bowgun in the game is neither of those. The best one is going to be the Magda Gametis. Magda Gametis, that's the Azor Magdaros heavy bowgun, okay? So if you're looking for the best sticky ammo, I really do believe it's going to be true spare shot on Magda Gametis. Kevin says, I can't post my picture. Emma says, I like likes. Do you like likes? If you do, then leave a like. Ask what? Who even dislikes? Who even dislikes? Honestly. Okay, that was a cheer and read it is as such. What? What are you guys talking about? Okay, 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 okay. We're here to pay our respects. I like to like girls because I like girls. Wow, this is really good. That is very good grammar. And that is very good writing. Let's go. Here we go. Let's go up here. <laughs> so we got stinky tigrix up there. That's too bad. People that are people that are Helios because they're not a liked YouTuber. Wow, what a weird thing to say. Usually there's also someone else who does it with me. Don't know who that is though. What are you talking about? Usually there's also oh I already read that. Okay, so Wallagler, let's get this right. Wallagler mutes people who are asking friendly questions and then he dislikes the stream. Um why is he mod? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
TGC won't be mad. <laughs> like, hey, that was funny. You guys are fired. You're fired. Okay, let's grab the bone pile. Coral crimson bone. Cust crystallized elder dragon bone. Wait, what are we going for again? Vibrant crimson bone. Hold on. Let's see our wish list. I can't believe I'm having to craft this armor set all over again. Guiding Reef Dragon Bone. Guiding Reef Crystal. That's this location, right? I'm not I'm not misunderstanding that, right? Reef would be the Coral Highland. Or the Coral region, right? Now I'm wondering. Pretty sure it is. Because that's where you find them too, right? Makes sense to me. Let's run up here. I'm clearly best mod. I get the exception. What? Walla is exposed. Cancelled. <laughs> Who dislikes the stream? Well, me. <laughs> have you heard about the news coming Sunday? No, Giovanni. Giovanni, I've never heard of that. It is brand new information. And in fact, I did not know. Thank you for letting me know. Whoa! Walla is a bad mod. He leaves dislikes on your videos. Ban him. <laughs> Ban him. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you very much, Markinator. All right. We'll leave it up to the people. What We'll have a vote on... We'll have a vote on whether or not Walla Manga gets banned forever. <laughs> uh, we'll, the vote will be Markinator versus... Markinator versus... Wait, wait, wait. Did he say... Who did he say? I, I might have misread it. Hold on. He said Wall, right? Walla? Let me make sure I understood this correctly. Yeah, yeah, Walla. But for some reason, fan popped into my mind. So, is 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 going to be Markinator versus Walla, and we'll have a vote off. And one of oh, if if Walla manga doesn't get enough likes, he gets taken off of the island. He gets removed from the island. Also, am I in the wrong area? Where did the reef come from? Hold on. It's going to say, isn't it, in the wish list? I didn't even think about that. Give me a moment. I should be doing this the right way. I should be focusing is what I should be doing. So, quest, Hunter's Note, wish list. Check materials. Coral region. We're in the right area. There must be really rare materials then. My vote is no. <laughs> can I send you a not safe for work video of Blippi on Discord? Um, you can send me a video of a not safe for work Blippi on Discord. I don't even know what that means. Game Economist wants to ban me. No, I don't want to ban you. I take it back. Is oh here we go. Nice. Oh okay. So we need three of those, huh? So it's expensive to build this armor set. Interesting. Oh man, I'm getting hungry, man. I haven't had dinner. Actually, you know, for lunch I had a bowl of soup and that was it. So that's all I've eaten today is one bowl of soup. So I'm actually getting pretty hungry. So we gotta we gotta get this materials and wrap up already. Make a straw bowl. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. We don't want to fight this guy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Leave me alone. There we go. He can't see me. How did he still get me? He's not aggro to me, though, right? All right. I see the bones over there. Just make sure there's nothing down here first. All right. Nothing down here. I vote for Frosty getting his mod back. Frosty? Did Frosty have mod? Oh, yeah, we gave him mod, but then uh, he had mod removed. I remember that. Hey, Game Economist, is there a go-to hunting horn for HR13 Nergigante? Um, I would use the bone horn, okay? Use the bone horn. And use attack up extra large after you've got your self-improvement set up and after you've got e attack up extra large set up. All you need to do is keep the attack up extra large active. And in the meantime, you can use your super pounds to set up the... Uh, I don't remember the name of the buff, but you just you use the super pounds over and over again because they deal good damage. Okay, so the super pounds are a good good damage move. Wow, it's funny that you asked that question because I actually do know the answer to that. Uh, when I played on PlayStation, when I started my PlayStation account, I actually started with the uh, hunting horn, so I know exactly what you're going through. He's a tough fight. If you're having trouble, try to upgrade your armor or get new armor that's that has a better defense 
value. You can also do an SOS for help because there's actually a lot of master rank players trying to get their hunter helper pendants. So try to SOS flare, especially the busier times of the day, you'll probably get help. That's why I recommend. Unless you can't connect to the internet. In which case, that's your problem, not mine. I'm just kidding. I vote, I vote for liking the stream. It's the best vote. Wow, we're actually pretty close to hitting 300. Look at that, we're at 252. It's amazing. Scatter nuts. Scatter these nuts. Oh, man. We're too fast, actually. Getting this done before they come back. What could we do in the meantime? I guess we could gather this nullberry. I need nullberries. Okay, there's two nullberries here. I am out of nullberries, so that's a good idea. We'll gather these. Oh, it says I'm out, does it? Oh, well. Fix that. Minx is busy with work. Minx! Out of box. We'll go ahead and empty our item inventory. Hey, Game Economist, do you know any Sprite cran Cranberry memes? I do not know any Sprite ca Cranberry memes, I'm afraid. It's too obscure for me. Do I know any? Yeah, I have them memorized off the top of my head. <laughs> so random. Share some of my best memes with you all. We have another meme review channel going in the Discord. I'm going to do another meme review video in the future. But this time it'll probably be higher quality. Because I think people, you know, I think they're more aware of it this time. So they're going to do probably, I, I'm betting they're putting out better memes. I have not looked at them. So part of the rules is I'm not allowed to see them. Uh, so I, I can tell you guys are adding stuff to that channel. But I'm not allowed to actually see the memes. Because when I go to, to review them, I want them all to be fresh. You know what I mean? So that's really important. Wow, this is very grindy. I've come to make an announcement, says Dust Blackout. Let's hear it. God, Dust. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. Let's go ahead and grab this guy as well. Am I ultra late for the Horizon collab? That's right, everyone already figured it out and all the fun is gone. You got a small, it's the size of this walnut, except way smaller, and guess what? Here's what my, what are you talking about? On my Twitter.com? I have no clue, no clue what's going on. Ooh, free flash pod. Okay, here's some bones over here as well. Yeah, I'm confused as well, Dave. <laughs> I think Dust is saying he has a small penis. I see the Storm Slinger prototype Horizon Zero Dawn Libogun has thunder clip capacity of 7 compared to the sticks. Its clip is 3. Yes, but it's a different type of ammo. So this new type of ammo, I'm sorry, this uh, version of the thunder ammo is the single shot rather than the rapid fire. So it, there's a trade-off. You give off damage, you give up damage per shot, but you don't reload as often. And the question is, which one is stronger? Well, traditionally, the rapid fire is stronger. However... That light bowgun also has really good base attack. So it should still be stronger. And we're going to find out soon. Should still be stronger. All right. So if the bones aren't over here, they're going to be over here. They're going to be out here. Hours before the piss drop and let's hit the freaking earth. Now get out of my freaking sight before I piss on you too. What? No clue where you, what you're going on about. See if the bone's down here. Nope. Well, let's check the wish list and see how we're doing on our wish list. All right, we've got one Guiding Reef Crystal, and we don't have any Guiding Reef Dragon Bone. That's really bad, actually. <laughs> they probably drop rarely. So we got to get that Guiding Reef Big Bones, because that's going to give us one of the ones that we need. Oh, it's right here. Perfect. Can't wait to find out Major Light Bogan fan here. I'm pretty sure it'll be stronger. Oh, what do we get? Oh. Ah. Ah, man. We gotta get better rewards than that. 
is rarity 9 with the second best raw? Exactly, it's rarity 9. So what'll happen is when you get the upgrade for it, it'll probably go up to about 420, 415, it's my guess. And then you're going to be able to augment it as well. So this is why I think it will actually deal the most damage as a Thunderlight Bogan. I also debate whether you'll even bother building a spare shot on it. There we go. There's a Guiding Reef Crystal. We're a 2 out of 3 for the Guiding Reef Crystals. We are behind on the bones, though. I'm the only big brain person here, I see. Hmm, that sounds like a small brain thing to say. <laughs> I can see I'm the only genius here. Mining outcrop. How do I carry all this stuff? I carry so many ores. All right, we're picking up these null berries because we don't have a lot of null berries. Guess we should have brought botanist with us, right? Botanist would have been smart. When you're a solo player facing tempered gold Raytheon in the grinding glands. Oh yeah, that must be a pain in the butt. It's not so bad though. Teammates can cause the run to actually go slower a lot of the times. If you have good teammates, then no, it goes faster. But uh, you know, if it's uh, if your teammates are even just mediocre, it can go slower. It's a flash bug. Here's a honey. I don't really need the herbs. Wee. Oh man, this is a grind, man. Let's grab this sleep herb. This is 10-10 Iceborne gameplay right here. I just want to go swimming in that, because it's clear all the way to the bottom. I bet it's nice water. Looks like nice, clean water. The upgraded version of the Horizon Light Bogun is going to hit hard. I'm calling it. You're calling it? That's not allowed. You're not allowed to call it. I'm calling it. I'm calling your mom, and then I'm call calling the Light Bogun. No, it can't be invisible for me. That's not fair. Okay, here's some stuff. Let's grab this real fast. Am I demoted yet? <laughs> Do we really just have to wait for it to, like, level up? It's not the only time you can get them, right? It's more like the leveled up one gives you a guaranteed... Guaranteed pulled. Crystallized Dragon Bone. Which I don't care about. Crystallized Dragon Bone, which I still don't care about. Please be something good. Crystallized Dragon Bone, which I still don't care about. Okay, so four Crystallized Elden Dragon Bone. That's nice. Exactly what I don't need. God damn it, dude. This gave me like four of those. Oh, no, man. Let's grab this blast nut. Oh, I will go ahead and grab some of that, too. Yash says I cry. <laughs> Alright, here's some more bones. Never enough crystallized dragon bones, apparently. The giant node is a guaranteed guiding item. Small nodes have a rare chance of the guiding drops at red quality. What? Everyone like the stream where you die. Wow, that's um, that's a harsh tur turn in the strategy for getting likes. <laughs> it's getting a little violent in here. All right, here we go. Whew, finally. So we got one. Now we just need two more. Easy. Get that in an afternoon. Wow, dude. We need uh we need to talk about something fun while we're waiting. Grab this snowberry. Get out of here, wigglers. It's not it's not safe for you here. 
More Nullberry. You can get an awful lot of Nullberry. Nullberry max. Nullberry to the max. Alright, I tell you what. Because I can see that they haven't responded. Let's go drop our Nullberry off. TGC loves bones. Well, I like the ones that we need for our wish list. I can tell you that. We're not getting them. We got one of them. I can't believe I'm doing this for the second time. I've already done this. On the PC, I hope somebody puts out like a PC mod and I can just mod my way to the finishing all my equipment right away. Because, man, I don't want to grind this three times in a row. Three times, guys. That's triple the grind. Make that little jump. You know what would be annoying is if we actually had a monster over here. So far we haven't had a monster. Alright, well there won't be bones down there because we we haven't gotten the... Uh... Let's see what we get here. Darn. I was hoping to get that rare one. Then we would be done with the deep sea crystal. But no matter what, we gotta get the bones. So you're saying the red bones give you a small chance for the the uh, what we're looking for, the material we're looking for. Right now they are not red. Oh, wigglers. Oops, wrong emote. Join other people's guiding lands to have bone gauge full. Hmm, that's kind of clever. Would that be faster, though? Because think of all the load screens and everything. And then what if I don't find people with red bar, or I mean full bar uh, guiding uh, coral coral region, right? So I don't think that would actually work in the end. I think this will end up be, being more efficient. It's a good tip, though. It's, a, it's an idea. So too bad, so sad. That's what kind of idea it is. Here we go. Here's a mining spot. Maybe this will give us the material we want. I sent him a picture and he hasn't replied. If you bring your cat in Geologist 3, it's a way better chance. Well, I can't bring my cat. There's four people here. It's not possible. Dragon, dragon vein, coal chunk. Wow. I'm rich in coal chunks. What else do you need? Grab this blast nut. We're probably going to have to farm blast nut in the near future anyways. With the amount of it we use. Oh, let's grab this. We might as well. Signs of a turf war. I went through hell, refilling it for three drops. Three drops. See, I don't think anything spawns down there except for the big bones. He's like, right here. Bitter bug. Probably should have gathered that bitter bug. I will gather that bitter bug. See? I'll actually go back and grab him. If I knew we were going to be out here so long, I would have definitely grabbed botanist. Nullberry... Flame nut. A dead shamos. It's like you went out into the woods and your friends just started killing everything. For fun. Ah, <laughs> oh, my back. Oh, how long have we been at this? We've been at this two hours and ten minutes. Please like or order 66 will be executed. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so you can actually see the left side from here. Alright, and I see some bones right here. Are they the red level? No, they're still yellow. Like if you want good luck for the next five years. Oh damn, that's some that's a good deal actually. Let's grab these herbs. And we'll go ahead and mine up this ore.
Dragon Vein Cold Chunk, of course. <laughs> oh man, two of them. Giant Mining Outcrop. So we're about to be done with the Mining Outcrop. Maybe we'll try out what he said. Maybe what we'll do is after we pick up the giant bone outcrop, we'll go see if anyone else has a giant bone outcrop. So here we are. This is the bone. This is the last of the mining outcrop that I think we needed to build this armor set. Yay! All right. So now we just need the bones, right? That's it. The bones, and then we're good. It's actually been very easy because the monsters haven't been spawning in here. I wonder how tasty a Devil Joe is. Well, there's one way to find out. <laughs> okay, here we go. Still no bones down here, right? Yeah. Let's grab this honey. We already gathered this one. Oh, sad. He's gathering something. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, the bone piles are still orange. What's Star Wars? Never heard of it, says Safari Dave. It's this really cool movie about, um, I don't know, girl power. <laughs> it's a really great movie made by Ryan Johnson. That will really surprise you at every turn. The, the plot twists are so good. It will divert your expectations in 20 directions. For example, if you're expecting to watch a good movie, prepare to have your expectations diverted. Let's see. Climb up here. Oh, I hear Kathleen Kennedy is actually going to probably be removed from her position. She's the lady who kind of took over Star Wars and made it, uh-oh, stinky. Dude! Let's grab this honey. And we'll grab this flash bug. And I'll jump over here for fun. I know that's what you all wanted to see me do, actually. You don't have to lie about it. It could be our little secret. I thought Markinator was cool. Even liked his vid. Pepe hands. What? <laughs> What are you guys talking about? Mark was never cool. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Star Wars. Once upon a time in a galaxy far, far away, the evil patriarchy rose up with the British accent. <laughs> Whoa, we're 20 likes away from 300. Holy. Holy smokes. Get off of me, Shamos. It's a crying Shamos. What? What are you sending off my... I was getting rid of this Shamos. Maybe the Shamos is gone. can't do it. I can't watch The Mandalorian. I can't either, to be honest. I just can't do it. I uh, I watched the Han Solo just recently on, on Netflix. I finally broke down and watched it. And I was like, you know what? I'm just uh, judging too harshly. And uh, it was really, 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 really terrible in all kinds of ways. Not just like, not, not, not just like in a propaganda sort of way, but in like just the overall design of it, it was just really bad. It's not that interesting. Let's grab this flash bug. Like, no wonder it didn't do to, so well. It just wasn't a good movie. Although, I, how can you make good movie when you start with propaganda, right? When you have, like, a political ideology you're trying to create, how can you make a good movie? Movies are good when you... Movies are good when you throw a bunch of conflicting, self-evident truths together, right? Stuff that's like... You know, there's conflict in the world, and you throw real conflict into a bunch of characters, and you got character arcs and all kinds of interesting things going on with that. But when you start your movie off with a propagandist ideal in mind, it's just going to be a bad story. It's not going to be interesting. It's going to be really boring, actually. Your story's going to suck. And you'll win an award. 
you'll make about half the people happy, which seems to be about what that last Star Wars movie did. Not the Soylo movie, but the one before it. It made about half the people happy. It's all the people that agreed with the message. The messaging. Let's run over here. And then the other people will be sad face. They'll be like, aw. <laughs> The Mandalorian is really good. Yeah, I'll probably never watch it, though. I'll watch it, I'll pirate it, and then I'll watch it. And then I'll still hate it. <laughs> Pirating's still a thing. Maybe I'll watch it one day when Kathleen Kennedy's no longer in charge of it. I don't know, Disney in general just gives me the creeps these days. Disney in general gives me the creep, creeps. The whole Frozen thing, that something about Disney just felt different when they launched the first Frozen years ago, whenever it was, it was two or three years ago. Everything about it felt weird and off-putting. I was like, man, there's so much weird crap in this that makes me uncomfortable. Everything about it felt so corporate and lifeless and like there's an underlying message that's political and... Tons of it it just made me very uncomfortable. All right, so we have a chance for this, right? Is that what you're saying? We have a chance for what we're looking for in here now? I mean, maybe we get lucky. We pull it now, and then the big bone shows up, and... Ah, oh, man, crystallized elder dragon bone. Give, why is it so mean to me? Ah, darn. Had my hopes up. Hey, what's your pirating thing? Says Ellis Adaman. Um... Well, these days, you don't really even have to pirate stuff anymore. You can just go to a website where they're streaming it. And that's very safe as well, because uh, it's harder to get in trouble for going to a website where it's free streamed. Damn, Game Economist, the mouse is coming for you. Mickey, ha ha! Ha, hey kids! I don't know, Mickey Mouse. What are you doing, kids? <laughs> what is that episode of South Park where Mickey Mouse was actually really mean? Oh, that was such a good episode. I remember it now. It, 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 Mickey Mouse was talking about how they sell sex to children, and uh, I thought that was very clever, actually. Yeah. Good old South Park. They're always saying something edgy, aren't they? South Park is. Oh, no berries are full. full. Let's get it one more run in, and then we will go empty out the no berries. I went to Disney last month, and yeah, I felt that way too. Maybe it's just because I'm older, but it just felt less... It felt soulless. Well, what you need to do, go back and watch a movie like Sleeping Beauty, right? Or, and, and look at the art style in the movie. That the, and it's just actually, it's really dramatic and cool. It's, it's, there's sort of a timeless tale to it, right? The, the movies today, they're not like that. They're too modern or something. I don't know what to say. That's what happens Like if you make your fairy tales modern. They, uh, darn. They just don't have the same feeling anymore. All right, we're almost done with the gathering of the bones, guys. We're very close now. Let's find out where this last one is. It's probably down here. Does it only spawn down here? I think it spawns up top, too. Yeah, the, the bigger fear is that it's worse than Solus. It's, it's actually propaganda. And that, that's more concerning for me than, than anything else. Do you watch anime? Uh, I haven't watched anime. Uh, I don't watch a lot of it. Uh, it's okay. I don't really judge people for watching it. I just, in general, I don't really watch too much television in general. When I watch stuff, it's usually like tutorials. I like to watch a lot of guides. A lot of tutorials. It's my favorite kind of content. Informational content. I'll watch something on like investing and money management. I like that kind of stuff. And uh, I do like cartoons, especially ones that aren't afraid to uh, be edgy and actually say things that you're not supposed to say. Okay, here we go. Bone pile time. Give me my Monster Hunter movie. Oh, I forgot about that. They're making a Monster Hunter movie. When's that going to come out and make me sad? <laughs> okay, so we got... We need one more of these. We're going to go ahead and return. And we're going to try out that idea where we're just going to look for somebody who already has their bone piles very close to the large bone pile. I think South Park once made a tweet about how South Park will not shut up about their new season. What? <laughs> Japanese cartoons, so in other words, the pure form of art. Walla. What? 
There's always some gem in these days movies. Into the Spider-Verse animation is freaking sick and unique. Everyone loves it. I never actually watched that. Yeah. Monster Hunter movie looks so cringy. Yeah. <laughs> A little worried about that. I don't think it's going to turn out well. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if it actually came out and it was like a box office hit and it was actually really deep and well written and uh, this the uh, visuals were like mind blowing and everything, you know, like Game of Thrones level of high quality. Well, not the last season of Game of Thrones, but like the early seasons of Game of Thrones quality, right? You actually care about the characters and the story is you know is a really good story. What are the odds of that though? <laughs> Everyone would be like, no way. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to choose Joint Quest. Spawn to SOS. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. We're going to go to Guiding Lands. Join. There we go. Respond to SOS. Region level. We're going to look for the Coral region. Uh, I don't think it has to be, let's say, 24 or higher. None. There are none. There are none of them. Maybe Mining Coral. Maybe that'll do it. No SOS flares for Coral at all. See, that's what I was saying. It's not necessarily better. None. Wow. I don't know if maybe somebody playing in it, it maybe somebody in the session has a good Coral mining situation. We might just have to go back and do it the hard way. Sadly. We'll give people a minute to respond. Let's go craft the soul coil. The first Resident Evil movie, then I can see it being enjoyable. Well, that movie was still kind of a B movie. It wasn't like a big box office hit. It was just okay. Let's go to armor. Jump down here. All right, we got the coil. We're so close, guys. I swear to God. Very close. <laughs> we need one dragon bone, everyone. You can't take me alive, Dest. What? What are you guys talking about? Put all those away. Oh, here we go, right here. Thank you, Sylvia. Sylvia, I can't join. Your master rank isn't high enough for this quest. Uh, we'll join RJ. Oh, your master rank isn't high enough for this quest. Son of a... Son of a bleeblop, guys. Well, that's us. We're heading back to our... Man, you gotta be kidding. It's the punishment for not being level 100. Guiding Lands has not been my favorite thing in this game. I'll be honest. I, I actually prefer Investigations by a lot. Guiding Lands has not been that fun. I mean, Guiding Lands is literally just a never-ending investigation is what it is, isn't it? Monster Hunter movie starving, starring Steven Seagal. <laughs> Emma Clark says, so close. Hit 300 likes and we all win. What? <laughs> I'll win the like competition. I was only a fan of Thor and Hulk. I was only a fan of Thor and Hulk. Oh, you're talking about the um, superhero movies. Yeah, Disney is all about those superhero movies. And, uh, you know, they're pretty popular, I guess. Ah, I think that the Endgame, or uh, what was it? Was it Endgame? Was Endgame really preachy about the whole feminism thing? Yeah, like Captain Marvel. I don't know. It's not. It's not such a big deal. It's not always such a big deal. I just think very often it's handled very poorly. It's almost like the writers don't know how to handle it, in, in my opinion. You know? I think there's ways, ways to write female characters that are actually really interesting and, and fun. And uh, not so resentful and bitter or like, I'm proving a point or I'm defeating the patriarchy or something like that, right? I'm defeat We're defeating the patriarchy. Intersectional hierarchy or whatever. <laughs> There's ways to write interesting characters. And, and no, it's not just... Uh, and I'm not just saying like, oh, well, they have to look good or something like that. It's not necessarily true, although all actors should look good, right? There's, with few exceptions, depending on the content you're making, your your Hollywood actors are going to be good-looking people, unless you're like in The Office or something like that, right? But uh, just interesting. Just interesting. Void of political propaganda. Joker in Endgame. <laughs> what? <laughs> Any idea about the new monster coming out? People are saying it's going to be a siege. Very likely it will be a siege. So if this 
put this on real fast. So if this new monster is similar to the past, Rei Zhang is the equivalent of Devil Joe. And after Devil Joe, we got Kov Roth. And they just recently talked about how the fact that they want to add another uh, siege monster to Iceborne. So now would be the time for them to add a siege monster because it's still fairly early on in Iceborne's life cycle. You don't want to add the siege monster later on in the life cycle. So my vote is that it will almost definitely be, it will almost definitely likely be a siege monster. And my concern is that it's not an exciting siege monster. What if they brought back Master Rank Kov Taroth? <laughs> that could happen, guys. Keep that in mind. But hopefully not. And who knows? Maybe it will... Uh, maybe it'll be a brand new fight we've never seen before. And maybe it'll be really, really interesting. If it's going to be a monster you have to grind over and over and over again, please, for the love of God, do not let it be anything like Kov Taroth. It's got to be completely new. And th those are all my concerns. And we'll find out in... Roughly one day. I mean, it's the end of the day, day already, so we're already almost there. Wow, we're very close to 300. <laughs> Parker goes, there's a second camp in the Guiding Lands? There sure is. <laughs> when you realize there's two camps. Maybe we finally get the chance to kill her. Ah, yeah, but I don't want that to be the siege. I really don't. Who knows? The cynical part of me says it's going to be Master Rank Kolv. The cynical part of me says that. You know why? Because Capcom reuses their co their content. They really, really do. They really reuse their content to make more content. Um, so a, a part of me is very skeptical and actually does feel like it's just going to be Master Rank Kolv. And that will be a worst case scenario, maybe? Who knows? Maybe she looks the same, but the fight's really, really good. Who knows? As long as the fight's really good, I guess. <laughs> Listen to me already embracing my expectations. I'm like trying to lower them so that I'm not disappointed. <laughs> That's not good. Lao Shang plus Kov in one arena. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa, people are joining in, I think. Turkey says, love all your videos. Keep it up. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I have a lot more videos on the way. I always have way more video ideas than I have time to make videos. So the live streams eat up a lot of my time. So we've spent collectively about four hours and 30 minutes live. But you guys also have to understand, I take about 25 minutes before we go live to get ready for the live stream. So there's some stuff I have to edit and... You know, I have to set it all up and send out the live stream and create the thumbnail. So there's about 25 to 30 minutes before the live stream where I do a whole bunch of work then, too. Man, how close are we? Oh, I can't remember how to do it. Oh, right. We look at the map. We're building up the bone level in the... The uh, coral reef, slowly but surely. I, I wonder, does it matter where you gather bones? Will it just go up as long as you're still gathering? Gogmazios, squatting in the left behind gunpowder surplus from the Zorb capture attempts. Game Conomus puts on his stage makeup before the stream. That's right. Put on my stage makeup. I uh, practice my lines. You can tell this is a very, very strongly, carefully edited stream. We don't let any shenanigans happen during these streams. It's a shenanigan-free stream. Let's grab this, honey. The cameras show every pore. <laughs> oh my god. The bones are getting larger. Ghost Killer says has to be in that area. That's what I thought. Thanks, man. I mean, that's that's what makes sense, right? Look at this dude with the big old horns. Get out of here with those horns. Nice. These other Kelby are like, what's going on over here, guys? Oh, just murdering your friends. Don't mind me. 
Have you ever tried playing previous Monster Hunter games? Yes, we played through Monster Hunter GU. I used the hammer the whole way. <laughs> Does he know we reached his goal? What? Wait a second. No way. No, 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 no. We need one more. Oh, the goal of 300 likes. Wow, nice, man. I'm actually really impressed. I didn't think we would reach it. Man, we should set that goal every time. 300 likes. I think that's a fair number to reach over the course of a live stream. Because, you know, it often says there's like 300 to 400 people watching, but it's often not the same 300 to 400 people. Uh, people come and they go, and so there's always this like exchange rate of people joining the live stream and leaving the, the live stream. And uh, so there's always people who can come in and leave a like if they want. So, yeah, we should set it to 300. I think that's fair. I'm going to guess, actually, the number of people who join the live stream is probably closer to, like, 700 to 1,000 people come and go over the course of two hours. So 300 is not too unreasonable. I think we could hit that number. Herbs. Oh, man, these wigglers. I see you with those horns. Ah, I'm not going to take them. I'm not that way. Zizi Yaku. Dead corpse. Of course, they're the same 300. <laughs> what? 300 likes every time. Well, I think that's a good goal. It's a hard to reach goal. You know, it takes work. And it's a nice looking goal, too. 300 likes. Vibrant Crimson Stone. What if what if we have the Siege Monster and it's Zora Magdaros again? <laughs> Imagine it's a Zora Magdaros and it's just you using cannons the whole time. <laughs> People would go sell their copy of Monster Hunter right now. They'd be like, well, that's the end for you, Capcom. <laughs> They're like, yeah, so uh, for the next Siege Monster, you have Zora Magdaros and you strictly use uh, cannonballs on them. And that's it. <laughs> People would be like, they'd be tired of it in like two runs. I'd be tired of it in two runs. I'd be like, I'm done with this. Yay, we got a Guiding Reef Crystal in case we need to craft anything else. Alright, we're getting red bones now. So we're, we're very close now. So close, guys. I did not think it was going to take so long to put this armor set together because I didn't appreciate how much time it was going to take in the Guiding Lands to get the materials we needed. I thought we were just going to have to fight Silver Rathalos a few times. It's a revived Zora where you have to navigate his body to find weak points. Oh, man. Don't even talk about it. Don't even talk about it. I'm hoping it's a monster that uses the Velcana map that we only saw once. There was a Velcana map we only saw once? What? What if it's an entirely new stage, the siege monster? You know, when we got Kul Taroth, that was on a new stage. That was nice, right? That would be cool. I gotta get back down there, but that goober over there is... Here, let's put this on. All right, we're going to grab Bitterbug. We'll grab the honey. Oh man, I'm excited to open more cards tonight, but I don't even know if I have packs to open. I think I sold them all. I sold all of the packs that I have. Maybe I should go to Walmart right after this, see if there's any boxes left. I think I'll do that. After this, I'm going to rush off to Walmart. So I actually have Pokemon cards to open tonight. Whew. Look at all these Wigglers. ZZ will leave. No, ZZ. Come back. It's a giant Valstrax as a siege monster, right? Oh my god. That'd be pretty funny. It would make no sense. Alright, here we go. Red bone pile. Ta-da! Crystallized elder dragon bone. 
Da -da. Oh God. All right, nothing. Bring on Fatalis. What if it was Fatalis? Ooh. Grab this bait bug. I don't know why. There's no point to having a bait bug. It's not like he really helps with anything. They only have one area for all the crap to spawn. That's so sad. You know, at first I thought that finding the spawning locations for a lot of the things in the Coral Highlands and the other areas in the Guiding Lands was going to be complicated to figure out, but it's not. It's just one little spawning area for everywhere. One little spawn rate. You just go in a big circle and you gather it all. You don't even need your map. or the, You don't need the scout flies for this. It's too easy. We're so close. Very close. It sucks I deny that part of me, so I'm white and Japanese, the ultimate race. What are you saying? What was that all about? <laughs> white and Japanese, the ultimate race? Oh, no. <laughs> Re, what's the session ID? I don't know how to use Discord, says Vain Regret. Re! No one tell him. No one tell him. It's a secret. You have to be part of the secret fan club. Grab this Zitsi Yaku. Yeah, he could have five attacks. What? Everyone loves Valstrax. I do. I think Valstrax was one of the best fights in the game for Monster Hunter GU. I loved that he had a one-shotting mechanic where he flew up in the air and you just kind of had to dodge at the right time. That was really good. All right, climb up here. Wow, we got a ZC Yaku lure. That's so good. <laughs> I thought the ultimate race was I did a rod. I don't even know what that means. Emma says, I feel so accomplished. We did it, Emma. 315 It's amazing. That's actually a lot. I don't normally get 315 likes. Markinator says I'm God, but he's got a poopy emoji. That doesn't seem right. Watch. We'll jump down here just as the... Nope, it didn't appear. That's too bad. That's too bad. We're so close, guys. We really are. I Thank you all for being so patient. We're very, very close to getting that Silver Rathalos chest piece. And then we'll just put on the Garuga legs and everything will be beautiful. I think we already have the true spare shot charm. So then it, after that, it just comes down to our... It comes down to our decorations and then we can take the bow gun out for a run. Game Economist, did you play Horizon Zero Dawn? What if it's a monster from that game? No, it's not going to be a monster from that game. I guarantee it. Unless they made it available on all consoles. I mean, that's the only way it would make sense. I don't think that's going to happen. PlayStation is going to be like, mm -mm 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 -mm. we don't even let Minecraft players play together. Because frick that. They're going to be like, we're the best. We're Sony PlayStation. Sylvia says, a lol, two reef bones. Shut up, Sylvia. <laughs> Talking about how many bones you got. Think I care? Think I want to hear that? Take it elsewhere. I'm already... I have enough grief. We need a difficult monster, says Walagler. Yeah, the siege monster really isn't going to be that difficult. That's the thing. We have no extreme behemoth in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. And it's showing. It's showing real bad. Giant bone pile emerged. Finally, dude. Dude, that would took forever, man. Alright, it's up top. Tell them about the food skill cat. I'm getting ignored. It boosts damage. Cool cat. Oh, right. Cool cat. So I'm trying to remember how cool cat works. Don't you do like an emote and then it gives you like a damage buff or something like that? It's on the 23rd, not the 24th. Thank you, fan. 
See, this is why I need you, Finn. I need you because you're better than me at the time conversions. I am always perpetually confused with this this day ahead Japan thing. It, get, it gets me every time. That's why I thought that tomorrow was going to be the uh, for, uh, Horizon, not Horizon, Horizon Zero Dawn event. Because I was told it was on the 22nd. I'm like, okay, 22nd, got it. But then it's actually the 21st for us. It's like, damn it. <laughs> Sylvia's happy. Ah, here we are. The last bone. It only took us 40 minutes. That was very painful. 10-10 Iceborne gameplay. This is definitely what I signed up for. That is exactly what I was hoping to do with all of my free time. Let's gather all those bones. I can tell by the uh, viewers, too. The viewers were excited. We lost like 100 viewers. Normally, as time goes by during a live stream, the uh, live stream will have more and more viewers. That's usually what happens, but in this case it went down. You know why? Because for the last hour we gathered bones, and that's not exciting. I don't even think it's exciting. You guys are hardcore sticking around watching it. I mean, I, I gathered bones, guys. You know that, right? Never seen it in a speedrun. Also, I don't have PS Plus anymore, so can't play online. Pepe hands. Oops. Saul Cruz says, what if it's not just one monster that comes back? Maybe it will be two or three monsters that come back. Reasons why I say this is because of the leak list that we saw months ago. There was a leak list? The siege monster should be both challenging and fun instead of being a chore. Right. I agree. Lay back for a couple of seconds and effect is equal to demon pill. What? Oh, lay back for a couple of seconds and the effect is equal to demon pill buff. Does it only last as long as the demon pill buff? I'll write that one down. I'm, I'm going to mention that one in my top 10 things you didn't know. Because we have known about the cool cat skill for a while. That's the feline food skill or whatever it is, the daily skill. And I never use it. So it is a it is a buff that you get from doing an, an emote in the game. And I never cared to learn about it all the way. So 10 things you didn't know. I will do my research on it unless you want to try and explain it here. Feline food... Skill, cool cat, gives buff with emote. Yeah, I've known that one for a while. I never, ever, ever use it. 1v1 me in Xbox Minecraft. <laughs> I'll win. What if we had like a build off, God Terror Boy? That would be cool. I'll build the heck out of you. I will win 100% with my better looking home. Let's go to... Forge, no, yeah, Forge Equipment. No, not weapon, armor. 1v1 me, bro. Alright. Equip this now. And please, for the love of God, tell me we have the Garuga, Garuga legs. Yes, we do. We're good. Oh yeah, guys. We made progress. That was actually a lot of progress we just made there. You know why? Because I want to do bow builds and I want to do dual blade builds on the PlayStation. And we, we really badly need this setup this uh, armor setup in order to do those builds, right? All right, so clear those off real fast. Change equipment. We're gonna have the other light bow gun. Finally. Oh, where is it? I thought we built it. Wouldn't it be here? Oh, it's right here, Storm Slinger. There we go. That got me. Razor Sharp, still on the build. Okay, Silver Soul. And this would be Garuga Greaves. There we go. All right, that's what we're looking at right now. Pew, 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 pew. Laser beams. Let's see. And we're building for thunder, right? Thinking about it. Would you even need... You know what's funny? It feels like we don't actually need the razor sharp charm because of the seven shots, right? So really, it would mostly help you... Wouldn't it mostly just help you with reserves? I'm pretty sure that would mostly just help you with reserves. Because having to reload every seven shots is not so bad. I'm thinking about it. Give me a minute. God, if only I was a speedrunner. And if only I had all the equipment already. Where's Kieran? Is Kieran down here? Man, it's been a while. 
I don't have the Kirin Gamma armor on this setup. Oh no, I never fought. I never fought Arch Tempered Kirin. Arch Tempered Kirin had an interesting chest piece. I'm almost wondering if it's a better option than um, what I have going. The Razor Sharp Charm being given up for the Thunder Charm. Oi, oi! Forge equipment. We're good at charms. We definitely gotta have the charms, right? So, Thunder Charm. And we don't have the Toby Claw. Oh, that's for Thunder Resistance. We're still good. Hold on. So, wait, it says we have this. Friendship, Handicraft, Thunder Attack. Here we go. Oh, we have the Thunder Attack Charm. Why didn't it show up? Wait a second. Let's try that again. Man, my back's hurting. Oh, my God. I thought it looked odd that we only showed a few two charms. I was like, really? My character's that poor? My character's not that poor. Oh, my God, dude. All right, so this is... <laughs> you can all laugh at me now. So, Crit Eye 4. Crit Eye is a priority in this case. We gotta have Crit Eye. There's no exception. Crit Eye is very important. So, what do we got? Resistor, Quick Sheath, Fortify, Affinity Slide, Marathon Runner, Evade Extender, Offensive Guard, Bomber Stone Thrower. And well, how many of the small ones we got? We got two of the small ones, huh? Well, none of these are very good. We're gonna put in Jumper. And then. How many do we need? We need two more, huh? Put jumper, resistor, and the small one in. The small one, that's what she said. And then we definitely also want weakness exploit. One, two, three. Weakness exploit is in. We don't really need the crit boost. Thunder attacks in. Crit, crit i7's in. What am I missing, guys? Free element ammo up. Do we actually even need it? Whoa, do I not have any? Oh man, my character's so poor. My character is so poor. Skills, let's go to free element ammo. Actually, it's right here, isn't it? One, two, three. Okay, so we actually can't afford these. Question is, which ones do we want? We'll go with stone thrower. Oh, looks like these are the ones I have anyways. It doesn't matter. So that's what we're running on those. What is that? That brings our shots up to nine, right? Dude, we got nine shots. Nine. Oh, can't talk. Nine shots of the thunder ammo. It almost feels like you don't need that many. But I guess it makes sense if we skip the. Um, you know what? If we end up skipping razor sharp, then maybe we should have it. I don't know. Seven shots is a lot. Usually you have. You don't need that many in your because you have plenty of time to get away from the monster. Anyways, I think it's too much. We're gonna go with. I think it's too much. We're going to go with the, uh, Vitality instead. It's health boost. Footing. Brace. I don't care what they are. We'll go with Throttle here. Here we'll go with Throttle. And we'll drop Footing for Challenger. I should care. Okay. Okay. That's an improvement. And we'll just fill this last one out. I don't know. Can it? Can the Boguns use Thunder Attack 4? I can't remember. I tested it. And now I don't remember what the results of the test were. So we'll take Thunder Attack 4, although I think you only go up to Thunder Attack 3, right? I can't remember. Honestly, I can't. Change equipment. And we'll go ahead and grab... Where's my rock? Oh, we don't have rock steady. Okay, health booster. That's fine. People use complete NNN become Shar Ishvalda. What? Trey is the man. Says Game Economist. Any tips? So you have the Jagger's Death Claw. Uh, this is probably fine. Yeah, it looks fine, actually. Tigrix Helmet. It's not bad. Viper Kadashi Mail. It's not bad. That's fine. You got a pretty nice looking uh, early game uh, setup. Yeah. When, when you finish the story, move over to the Shara Ishvala Greatsword. And then also for the armor setup, you'll probably want to go... Well, let me think about it. So you're in the early game trying to make the Shara Ishvala... So you'll use the Shara Ishval, the Greatsword, until you can craft the um, 
Acidic Glavinus Greatsword, which actually I think you can go straight to the Acidic Glavinus Greatsword, but if you do that, you're going to have to build Master's Touch. So with the Master's Touch, you need the Teostra Helmet. For the chest piece, you actually need the Kieran chest piece. That's why I'm recommending. And then it's the Teostra Arms, the Teostra Coil, and the Garuga Greaves, which you'll have to unlock as soon as you can. So that's why I'm recommending. Alternatively, you could go with Charish Ishvalda. You do slightly less damage, but you'll have like more of a larger purple sharpness bar. So, it's, yeah, you just got to grind your way through the story, man. Okay, we got to test this. Let's take a look at the monsters and find out which ones are weak to thunder real fast. Oh, we don't know. <laughs> Gold Raytheon is... Savage Devil Joe is. Savage Devil Joe, is he weak to anything? He doesn't feel like he's weak to anything. And Tigrix is. I might have a Tigrix. Or not. I want an optional. Do I have an optional? No. This guy is actually still kind of weak to Thunder, but not quite as much anymore. Okay, none of those are available. Hmm. <laughs> Chase like, thanks. Let's go ahead and refresh our item loadout. If you guys want to post a monster weak to Thunder ammo... Wait, do I even own Thunder ammo? Oh man, this character is so poor. Here's our... Nope, that's Flash Bug. Thunder Bug. And then we can actually buy Thunder Ammo. Savage Devil Joe has very good Thunder hit zones. Okay, yeah, maybe somebody can post a Savage Devil Joe for us real fast. Let's buy the box. Thunder Ammo. We'll just buy about 300 of it. Same here, we'll buy some to our pouch. Sylvia says Gold Wrath. We can do Gold Wrath. Doesn't it doesn't bother me either one. No posts have been, no quests have been posted. We'll go with uh, customized radio menu, quest settings, drop the whetstone. Here we go. Here we go. Thunder ammo. Sylvia posted a quest. All right, join quest. Ah, uh, I can't join that. Your master rank is not high enough for this quest. Wow, big sad. Is it because he's tempered? It's probably because he's tempered. Can I really not join? Is it? It's got to be just the tempered version, right? There's no way that is keeping me away from the regular version. That would really be surprising. Temp tempted to try this too, the pierce ammo. Change equipment. We're going to go ahead and save this right now. All right, so we save that. And... We'll save this item loadout here. Oh, that's sad. What mods are you using? Oh, good point. Let me go ahead and throw on the mods. Didn't even didn't even think to check. Hold on. I would have forgotten. Thunder ammo can go down to low, huh? And what about reload assist? Okay, so you either go. Ooh, that's a tricky one. So you can have low recoil. I'm going to go with the low recoil. All right, and, and, and what, what happens if we take one more? It doesn't matter. Deviation suppressor doesn't matter. Close range shield, special scope, evade reload. Uh, phew, just fade reload doesn't really matter. That doesn't really help. How about uh, reload assist? Does it help with anything else? Sticky ammo, kind of. I mean, it just, just doesn't really affect anything else. Let's go Deviation Suppressor. Yeah, we'll go Deviation Suppressor. Who cares? Oh, sweet. So, yeah, we can't fight him tempered, but we can fight him regular. Sweet! And let's go ahead and save the build. Oh, 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 not there. Here. Would evade reload help? 
Not really, if you think about it. You got seven shots, right? So it's not like you're gonna hold seven evade reloads. Doesn't really make a big difference in my opinion. Okay, we'll keep making these thunderbugs for now. So I have plenty of that. Good thing I started working on those ahead of time. Really excited to hear what this sounds like. Eat a meal, we'll just have a chef's choice platter. Hey, there's cool cat. What, what do you say for the cool cat? Yeah, hold on, hold on. Let me, uh, oh, we got some stream, stream lag. I just saw that. So let's see. Cool cat, monster hunter world. Googling it right now. Grants a temporary attack boost when you use the kickback gesture for a while. Okay. Error, YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. Let's close down Discord. Although I, I actually strongly suspect it has nothing to do with me. I actually suspect it has everything to do with YouTube. Super laggy. Oh, all right, let's go ahead and ready up. Hopefully it clears up in a minute, guys. Kick back emote, huh? And, and can anyone tell me how long does Cool Cat work? I'll just see if I can find more information about it. The food skill Cool Cat has changed. Monster Hunter Reddit. What? Usually the Cool Cat food skill will increase... Are they waiting for me? No, they're not. Will increase your attack after per performing the kickback gesture. There is no kickback gesture. Instead, the skill is activated by the sit gesture. This can be confusing for some people because the description still lists the gesture as kickback. Happy hunting, you Cool Cats. Okay, so apparently we have to use the sit gesture. And what else? How long does it last? That's why I want to know. <laughs> All right, here it is. If you guys are happy with this, I'm glad you guys stuck around. It took a long time to get to this point. Now, will this even work? Hold on. So, our attack value is 429. Still 429. So, I think that I have to be with my Palico for it to work. That's why I was wondering. Wow, both of them missed. That sucks. So for fighting this guy, it's very important that I don't get dragon blighted. He's mad. It sounded weird. It doesn't seem to sound weird. I think it sounds pretty normal. And also, yes, it's feeling pretty strong so far. So I'm imagining it with the actual soft spots on him. Try contributing to that. Let's see if we can... We want to soften his chest. Or his head. We're going to go for the chest. Oh my god. Okay. Are you kidding me, Wolg? Oh my god. Freaking Wolg. 
Wow, 80 damage per shot is uh, pretty good when you're talking about 7 shots and a uh, low recoil. So check this out. That's not bad at all. Feel it now, Mr. Krabs. I gotta stop crafting armor so early. It's too early to craft armor. Uh, craft ammo, not armor. Remember, we were learning about that. You can craft too early and you can actually lose some of your ammo when you do that. So I believe I craft 12 per Thunderbug. Alright. We had to remove the Dragon Blight. Very important. Ouch. That uh, hurts a lot. <laughs> he needs his chest softened again or we're not going to get good damage on him. I mean, actually, we're getting pretty good damage regardless. I mean, I'm just comparing this to this. Uh, I'm comparing this to the uh, sticky ammo, right? So this... Look at the rate of fire on this compared to the sticky ammo. You can see that we're shooting faster, we're reloading less, and we're getting not bad damage as long as we get about two procs, right? So one proc is not too impressive, but two procs of damage on his body is actually dealing about as much damage as a shot of sticky. You're not getting the knockdown, though. Keep that in mind. So on a, on a team uh, fight or whatever, the knockdown is actually valuable for your teammates. But you know, it, your teammates also have to capitalize off that knockdown or else it, wasn't, it didn't turn into added damage. And uh, it is possible. Oh, nice. He's not. Oh, I thought he was going to be KO'd right there. Oh, look at that. That's good damage, actually. That's really good damage right there. He's going to roar. Oh, nope. He's going to jump. Oh, but he got exhausted. He's drooling now. Nice job. Nice job. I don't know what that is. He's in the drooling state. It's not the same as exhaustion, it's like an advanced flinch state. now, right? No? I didn't realize he was going to stay down so long. I also didn't realize I had so little stamina. There wasn't anything I could do about it. Is he going to roar? Nice job. That's exactly what I was going to do. Nice job on that. This guy's in so much trouble right now. This guy's getting wrecked. This is un unupgraded. I actually think you'll do fine. Yeah. Drooling is so you can jump him and create a weak spot. Yes, but actually most people just end up using it to deal damage. <laughs> Let's grab this right here. Well, that was nice and fast. How fast was that? That was a six minute run. Not bad. It's a capture at the end, so that always saves you time. Joe getting wrecked. Well, that took forever. But there we go. We did test it out, everyone. Bro, your stamina is the size of my dick. Oh, man. Yeah, we were running out of stamina because we didn't have a hot drink. All right. What did you guys think of that? I guess uh, we would have to see if the speedrunners end up using spare shot... Uh, with this heavy bow gun, or I mean light bow gun, not spare shot. If they end up wanting to use spare shot on the stick slight bow gun, there we go. It's getting later, guys. You gotta forgive me. So stick slight bow gun versus this one. Uh, the stick slight bow gun will have spare shot built into it. I don't know if you'll take spare shot on this light bow gun because putting the thunder charm in the charm slot is so nice. But I don't know. I almost wonder if maybe they'll give up the chest piece. On this armor, I can see them giving up the chest piece for actually the high rank Kieran chest. So there's the high rank Kieran chest piece, and they might give it up for that. And put so they'll be wearing high rank armor. That's my guess. And then they'll wear, you know, silver low legs. That's my suspicion. I forgot, but does the Narga armor make all ammo pierce through? Is also I'd be if 
I'd be interested to combo it with this light bow gun. The Narga armor. Uh, the Narga Kuga armor gives you true spare shot is what it does. And this allows you to take a weapon that has very low ammo clip size and very low reserves and make them a lot more effective, which is not really needed for this light bow gun. This light bow gun needs more damage and yeah, mostly just more damage. All right, so it took forever, but we finally got to test the light bow gun out. It felt pretty strong actually, especially if the parts were already weakened on the monster, but you know, you don't really, the, the sad part is you don't really see speedrunners using elemental bow guns. And that's because right now you see them using sticky bow guns. Right, so the one I see used most is the Raging Light Bowgun. And I, you know, when I make my videos these days, I actually don't just make them in a bubble. I actually go out and research speedrunners specifically to see what they're doing to optimize their damage output. And yeah, we don't see a lot of elemental bowguns being used. We do see some, but not a lot. So we'll, we'll have to see. I don't know. I, I like the damage output on this. And if you're playing on a team that's going to soften the monster's body parts, you might end up using this instead of a sticky ammo build. Oh, look, it's Curious Fiber. He's so curious. It's okay, man. I'm not going to judge you if you come out of the closet. All right. Why don't we go ahead and wrap things up? I'm going to do the Kabuki. It's very late at night. I did not expect this to last so long, but we we did the hard work of unlocking the Silver Rathalos armor set, and now that's done. How's our Master Rank looking? We're Master Rank 90, so we're 10 levels away from Master Rank 100, which is really good. That's been our goal for a while, so that's good, and... Uh, Sylvia says, what a fun run. <laughs> yeah, it went by nice and fast. We'll um, have to see how powerful this light bogan is when the rest of the event comes out in December. We, of course, have the trailer coming out on the 23rd, apparently, not the 24th, for the next monster in Monster Under World Iceborne. Probably a siege monster. I would bet real money that's a siege monster. All right. Thank you, everyone, for your generous donations. Thanks for all the likes. We reached 326 likes. Likes. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next live stream. Probably Pokemon, although I might start it late because I've not had any din dinner. There's a possibility I skip it too, but I've not had any dinner. So I need to go out and spend some time out. Okay, guys? All right, see you guys later.